for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. This is the main event. Dildo Corn is alive. And kicking. Come on over here, I'll headbutt your ass a couple times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, you think he's already started? Yeah, we start. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Punk Drunk Sports. Where, 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 are we? Where, where, where? Oh, boy. Please <laughs> join us. What? Aren't you, aren't you, aren't you glad? <laughs> aren't you glad to be here, Gareth? Well, I know you uh, jump yeah. in and save him, T, but you're eating pizza. So. <laughs> it's not pizza, you Basically fucking idiot. Is. It's Basically is. Basically. You it said is, it was yeah. cheese. And, you said it was cheese and crackers. Now it's oh. cheese and crackers and salami. It was revealed, and I'm <laughs> almost on the accuse, accusation of lunchables. I'm almost going to go there. <laughs> yeah, this is lunchables, not all put together. That's. I mean. Yeah, uh, I mean this is this is. Yeah, we're, no, this is the intro. It's just like this every single time. Oh, so the script you sent me. Oh, I was just oh, brought to you by lunchables. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I love lunchables because. It's always so, uh, it's great to have them separated into the groups. So, yep, there you go. Lunchables. I'm a huge fan. Yep, yep. go for it. Get Lunchables. nitrate. That's, <coughs> that's our new sponsor. They're great. I also like Brunchables. They have champagne <laughs> in one of the boxes. <laughs> I like Humpables. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's just, they're hey just guys, a box with holes and Sam's Let like, me formally oh, yeah. introduce our guest. This guy's considered a top 400, maybe 500 podcaster in Los Angeles. Uh, literally one of the, probably the best of the bottom best. Like of the best, best, the top best. The middle of, of the best. middle, I like to say. <laughs> The best of the bottoms. Thank that's you. what I read about you and what we know. That's that, but that, yeah, that's not uh, comedy based. <laughs> this guy's a thirsty bottom. That's what Variety <laughs> Magazine called you. He's a thirsty bottom. Oh, that's what I have on so my postcards. Funny, dude. <laughs> what my business guy says. Good. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Naughty Show. <laughs> yeah, right? Dude, some one of the greatest shows nobody ever listened to. It was just really yeah. classic. Yeah. How great it, was yeah. our studio? We I were didn't the know best. What a pod, I didn't know what a podcast was until I saw you at an audition for Steve Burns' show that I think we both booked. We just got to hear. And, uh, and then you were like, come to Red Bands and we'll do a podcast. And I was like, what? You're like, what's a Red see, Band? I, yeah, yeah, I was like, what, at a Red Band? What does that mean? And then I was also, all I knew was Sam was hilarious. So I was like, okay. Do you think that we didn't get that show? Because cause ultimately the guy that got our role was Brian Scalaro. Do you think it's because we didn't show a like a bad temper? Do you think yeah. that's what it was? Yeah, <laughs> that's <show>? enticing. <laughs> In an audition for a guy to say, yeah, uh, I'm going to have way more lines in season, right? Like, that's a red flag, but they took him on for whatever reason. He said that? No, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be, I mean, what you're doing here is adequate. Yeah, look, I get uh, it. But I'm going to need some more juice. Yeah, this guy, I feel like an, this is an A story guy. You're throwing him a C bone. <laughs> a C bone. <laughs> So every time Gareth comes out, we got to tell the story about where Gareth and I met. And Gareth and I, uh, we auditioned for a very lucrative, yet low-paying, uh, was it Sprite or 7-Up commercial? Sierra Mist, Jesus. <laughs> what the, wait, what do you mean lucrative but low-paying? Huh? Yeah, that's... It yeah. was not lucrative. It was okay. low-paying. That's what but I But at least, the, at least the accommodations were nice. <laughs> So you guys were I, on the same commercial or you were auditioning I, for I think what actually happened was I think I'd met you once before very briefly, Sam. And then so when we saw each other at this thing, we were like, oh, hey, yeah. Um, but uh, basically it was this – it was when like Sierra Mist – who like Sierra Mist must have just inherited $10 million or something. And they were just like, we should try to be comedy. We should try to be the comedy <laughs> soda. And everyone's like, why has no one ever done that? And, and this like, is when like reason. my space was God. Yeah, yeah. And then so and then so they were just shooting these like shorts and we were down at like some fucking wharf in the middle of God knows where. And basically when you weren't shooting, you just sat in your car. And so Sam and I would just be like on nap breaks and then like every two hours be like, Should we go eat Garrett, some peanuts? They had us get there at like eight in the morning. Oh, 
Yeah. By like 2 p.m., they, we still hadn't shot yet. They shot me last too, fuckface. You left at like four, at like seven o'clock. I was like, what is What is was it? What were you doing? Uh, I don't understand. You, you, they're short films? What? They were integrated. So just little short things for like uh, online content. And it was oh, okay. basically like you're dating the can of soda. So the idea was like, you're taking I dated a can of soda content. for like two and a half years. Yeah. I don't, no, different. I can't one, believe they different, didn't different. send me out on this. Oh, that wasn't Thirsty Cunt. No, no. <laughs> that was a no. different soda. It, their label wasn't handwritten. Oh, it yeah. was I dated whole... a thirsty cunt for two and a half fucking yeah, was, years. Again, that was a can of beans, and it's not. Again, it's just you called it a. Yeah, soda. She was Mexican. She even saying she just feels bad to me. I fucked a can, Gareth. I know, but I get it. I get it. I get Dude, it. Did okay. these, no, did these so make bad. it to the web? That's so bad. Did you ever see them? Gareth, did they make it to the web? Biden, I never so saw them, but I also I was a last like they had already hired a guy, <laughs> and then he bailed. So then they yeah. called me like the what? night I was like, hey, um. We'd really love to book you. And I was like, well, this is not how this works. So what and happened? then I, I tried to fight the guy. Did you ever see your Sam? Did it get made? No. You know, did it get pulled up? No. I wait, tried no, to Sheriff, beat wait, the wait, Sam, the guy. True or false? I, I wasn't there. I don't know anything about this. True or false? Sam challenged to fight this guy at Ellis Mania. <laughs> it's just like, every time Sam guy? gets mad at somebody, then you look at Twitter, it's like, I challenge you to a fist fight in Las Vegas in front of everybody. <laughs> when was the last time I did that, dude? I don't All right. Probably this morning. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, so funny. I was thinking about challenging this guy recently. Anyways. <laughs> why? <laughs> I, that is so... <laughs> why? Why? No, why? I don't want to get because, into it. Anyways, no, I, honestly, guys. I think that might... I mean, that makes sense because the truth is there's... You cannot resolve any beef on Twitter... And all you want to do is It's got to be in Vegas. Person. So, yeah, so it's got to be in Vegas. Well, no, it's just like there's just – the internet's just gotten so – there's so many, like, people that just – I think they're tough guys. That's it. And it's just annoying as shit. But, Gareth, now, word sure is are. that you are on a Netflix animation, or you had a role, one role, one line. Oh, Sam, I was a co-executive producer oh, on a snap. Netflix show called Hoops. And when you do that – you can fight to get six lines out of 10 episodes. Oh, and, congratulations. And so I was able to, yeah. So again, acting wise, it's coming together. I'm super happy for you. No, I know you think great. I'm joking, but I thought, I think that's awesome. We're both when you say, fantastic, right? When you say fight for, for six lines, did you have to fight in Vegas? In Vegas. I did it in Vegas. <laughs> I did it at the MGM <laughs> Grand. Go. Good, good, I fought good. the showrunner in Vegas and I knocked him out in the third round. And then, so I got six lines. Dude, congrats, bro. Hey, you know, did you go out for a lot of commercials, Sam? What's that? Did you go out for a lot of commercials, Sam? I'm, I'm having trouble imagining you doing commercials. No, I, did, bo I booked, I think, one commercial. What was it? It was a, uh, it's a very legendary um, Charles Schwab commercial. Oh, I lipst uh, Lipstick on the pig. I think you can look it up, but I'm on it. Yeah, it's, it's very impressive. I had one line. Real. No, it's real, Johnny. Okay. It's how I got my I sad actually, card. for me, that was the 9-11 of Charles Schwab commercials. Because it always said that. On that one for me. It really did. <laughs> I've always said hey, that. I, I haven't paid my, my uh, it's sad fine. dues in it's a while. Fine. My it's fine. <laughs> do what I do. Every three years when you act, you have someone on the show be like, Oh, shit, you hey, are on this thing. You owe SAG uh, $2,200. And you're like, awesome, great. So in order to do this thing for seven fifty, dollars oh, cool. This is a great industry. I know. Yeah. yeah. You owe thirty five hundred dollars and I'm like, yeah. let me crunch your numbers. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting five hundred and fifty dollars for Ma this. Mental math here. I've worked one <laughs> this is the one time I've worked in five years. Uh, my my first uh, gig that I booked was I used to go in for NCIS all the time with this casting <laughs> director. And then so there's this one that I worked really hard on where it was like dramatic, you know. And right. then they go, my agent calls me and they go, this is like very, this is, I've been in LA for like two years. And she, my agent calls me and they go, they want to book you. And I go, great. And she goes, but they don't want to book you for that role. They want to book you for the guy who died. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, you essentially have to lay on a table in a morgue and you have to be comfortable being naked. And I was like, what? And so then I thought about it and then I go, yeah, I'll do it. And then she goes, she calls back and she goes, oh, you can't do it because you're not SAG. I was like, well, why did I go through? I, you just made me like pimp myself out to be like, I'll be naked on camera. I know. Sure. Th she really threw you under the bus with that. Yeah. She's like, okay, look, you be naked. Oh, We're going to have to no. cut your leg off. 
Johnny, this is no Okay, rude. kids, here's today's magic stock. We you just said look it up. So oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, my God, Sam. Tell your customers it's red Sam. hot. You this one is N4. Office, Sam. Just don't That's the only time you've been in a suit in an office, right, Sam? There are a couple of courtside playoff tickets for today's winner. Let's put some lipstick on this video. Get the word, people. At Schwab, we aren't driven by sales commissions. Hold on, my line's coming. Wait, you have a line, really? There's never been a better time for Charles Schwab. That's amazing. What a jerk off. What happened to my line? I have a line now. Really? Yeah. I guess they cut that out. That's some bullshit right there. But there you are. Yeah, that's me. I say that's critical, the whole... Um, I, oh, with, you, there's spot. no commercial without the paper hand. Yeah. You look like you're 14 in that. <laughs> yeah. You, do you have a soul patch in that? He does, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's how you know it's a commercial, because nobody hires someone with a soul patch. Yeah. You got to look at that. Oh, God. Look at that little flavor saver. I guarantee you nobody smelled more like pussy on the mouth than Sam that day. <laughs> yeah, I know. 100%. Sam, so did, you go met, did you go method with this? I, I'm, I'm really curious. <laughs> yeah, like, yes. He was a meth head on this. Yeah. Why? You got big incentives on <laughs> this one, so get on he the phone. total meth head. <laughs> he went full meth head. Look at him. He can't stand still. <laughs> <laughs> Sam fell. Sam took a fall. <laughs> stop. Dude, stop judging my acting, okay? It wasn't even acting. They cut I, out your I acting. I had someone they come just... up to me going, hey, dude. You you were really good in that. <laughs> hey hey hey! Can my wife and I buy you a drink? We're from out of town, but um. You oh fuck! The paper. Yeah yeah, that's him. That's the Schwab guy. That's the paper guy. Hey dude, I'm in the middle of talking to him. Could you give us a second, please? Don't crowd him. Sorry, dude. I know you're probably getting this all the time. Can my wife and I? Hey buddy, back off. I'm trying to. I went as you for Halloween, bro. <laughs> it was the number one costume this year, dick hole. Like he hears that every day. My wife and I would like to buy you anything you want. Dude, 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 I, I, I don't want to embarrass you right now. I know you're trying to eat. You might have I hate you clingers. Might... Don't you hate clingers? I got an impression. I, I've been doing my impression of you, bro. All right, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really, <laughs> that's really good. Oh, oh, Actually, this dude kind of won me over. So we could talk at the same time because that was uh, right on. Dude, let's go get tacos and get weird. <laughs> hey, dude, let's all go to my place, get nude, and hand a bunch of paper back and forth. Oh, nice. You can this paper my wife. Hey, hey. You can paper my wife. Hey, she just, I'd love to watch you paper my wife, bro. Dude, hey, hey, do not me being favor, weird. Man. Not being weird. Hey, when, you hand, this, you, when you hand the sign headshot to me, oh. you hand it in front of your face over your soul patch, like in the, <laughs> like in what I would call a mini movie. I don't know why people call it commercial because to me, that story is so amazing. You have Dude. this man who's clearly on drugs, All rehabilitating I'm saying, bro, himself. You got robbed at the Grammys. Oh man, you should have won two Grammys for that album of the That's year, in my I'm opinion. Saying. Best album I ever heard. The Name a album. better one. Name That's a better one than paper across the face, Chuck Schwab style. <laughs> The White Album, <laughs> racist. Yeah. yeah, That's so great, dude. Listen, I'm going to be on TV tomorrow night as well. Surprised you didn't work. get more work off of that. Honestly. Unsolved Mystery. Oh, yeah, you're on uh... a... <laughs> no, he's got some lines on cops. <laughs> the, Mon the Montauk uh, Project again? Talking about dude, revisit it. What's that? What's sci revisit it. Sci-fi channel? We're revisiting. Is that when you go back to meet everyone? It's like a reunion of the Charles Schwab commercial, and you guys do it again? Yeah, do you guys have a reunion every year, like that movie Court McCown was in? Yeah. Dude, everybody yeah. except for three people in that video are dead. Okay? Nice job, guys. And Sam, no, the other once. three are dead inside. The other three are dead inside. That old guy's not with us anymore. Eight of them now. dead outside. <laughs> Sam, guys. on the day of that shoot, did, what, did, did you talk to the old guy at all? <laughs> That we could make eye contact. That's with what him. I figured. I had a he, he read prima donna. His brother is Charles Schwab. That was Billy Schwab. And hey, I'm uh, Billy Schwab. I just pretend to be Charles in the commercials. Sag my after brother's stunt double. I do all my brother's stunts, like when he's handing paper back and forth. That's my thing. <laughs> Except Guys, this kid's got chops. I'm gonna be on TV tomorrow at 8 p.m. Check all me right, that's out. That's great. What channel? CW, dude. That's, yeah. that's kind of important. You just can't say I'm on TV tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm on tomorrow. I'm checking every channel all day long. At 8 p.m. The CW. Prime the time, baby. Mysteries decoded. Oh boy. So it's the oh, mystery the, how you got work on TV? What's that? <laughs> yes, it truly is. And I don't ever care to do it ever again. I'm really over all. Really? Of it. Yeah. That's good news. The, the uh, October fourth, I mean, though. 
uh, I, uh, you know, the, the comedy store uh, docu-series starts coming out in Showtime, so I'm excited about that. It's supposed to be, I thought it was supposed to be five. They say it's four episodes. What's the word okay. on five? Again, have you heard an early word on whether it's going to be? I okay. said five. Good. I heard it was. I, I know somebody that's seen four of them. I heard they oh, lit yeah. it at four, and it does five. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it's like a black comedian. You give it four, it does five. That's how it goes. Right? And then uh, you're just like, wait, there's nine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I hear it's good, dude. The people, the the people I've that was it seen with it, Showtime. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I'm excited. And we'll Am see. I right in that you kind of complained your way onto that? Uh, Sam, didn't you? No, were, you would be were, wrong, Johnny. They were interviewing people, wrong. and you were like, man, I'm pissed off. I haven't been interviewed yet. Well, I mean, I was, but I didn't complain my way into oh, yeah. it. And then I ended up being in three out of the five episodes. But don't worry about that, John. Nice job, Sam. I'm excited. I'm Let's surprised see. I didn't make it just a documentary about you once they started interviewing you. Now, did they talk to you about your Schwab commercial from the 40s? <laughs> I, I, that was oh. it. That's, that got me in. That, Aren't they doing they a spinoff called up. The Comedy Schwab? And that's you? <laughs> that's what I, it's him, it's him and uh, Brennan Schaub. It's called The Comedy Schwab. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's two dudes who are just shredded talking about getting gold teeth. Hell that's yeah. it. That's fucking it. Are you shredded That's now, it. Sam? No, no, not even say. close. Not Is even. Is that why close. you have a beard? Yeah, I've given up on everything, dude. I have two kids. I know. And uh, it might be time to stick a fork in me. <laughs> uh, I thought you were gonna say them. It's better for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's way better. I'll be back. I gotta go uh, check on babies. It's super illegal wow. to stick a this fork is, in this children. This is crazy. I'm still it here, is, probably. It oh, is this crazy. Is tech, this is the most focused this show has been in five months. It really is, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Usually none of us even talk to each other, and we just work on our own side things. Well, I remember one time when you were not in town, Ari couldn't do it, and Sam <laughs> asked me to come on, and it was Aaron, myself, and Sam, and then Sam forgot his computer charger, and then he had to run out and get it from Dana, and he just goes... <laughs> I got to get my computer charger. Just talk. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like hosting your show for like 10 awkward minutes where I was like, anything else about the Karen? All right. We'll just if, wait. If on there Sam was a God in heaven, charger. if there was a God in heaven that, that, that you would have continued to host for the next two years, <laughs> <laughs> it would have saved me so much, Gareth. <laughs> How are you feeling about your Packers, buddy? I know you're a big Packers fan. You got a Packers tattoo. I believe a tramp stamp. Oh, look at you. Chug the wine. Yeah, yeah I got a tramp stamp. I got a Packers sweater on. Oh, do you? Nice, nice. Um, yeah, I found I'm ch- pounding. Team, I'm but... pounding one. Well, let's talk about them and uh, let's have some fun first with how great the Packers look. And for the first time in a long time, I know people might say they're not playing good defenses or something like that, but for the first time in a long time, they just actually look like stacked. Like it doesn't look like they're eking out wins. Stop. It doesn't. It feel it feels different. It feels like they're now. Stacking. You gotta you gotta test this weekend, don't you? We do, yeah. But I mean, yeah, we do. I mean, if it's a very good barometer game because yeah, like if that's a much closer game or if the Packers lose that game, then I think yeah, for sure, back down to earth. But I feel like they're gonna win that game. I also feel like Breeze looked like shit against the Raiders. Yeah, he looked like, terrible. Yeah, he was he was way way off. He looked like. He might be done, dude. People, I'm so worried that he might. Yeah, be well, he's old. Why I are mean, you worried? Well, not worried. But, you know, I sorry. want him Honestly, to keep playing like shit for another yeah, sure two or three do. years. But he, he was like not, I mean, like ten yard passes. He was not hitting. Like it was yeah. just. Well, they were and saying that, and, that and, this I mean, is that's the, his wheelhouse. I mean, that's his whole game is hitting those short passes. Yeah. They were saying it was the the smallest amount of yards per attempt. Yeah, that's uh, a maybe that's even a, in his that's, career. That's, or something that's a very like telling that. stat, you know. That's a weird one where you're like, I'm only like he looked like Mark Sanchez. He looked like a good Mark. He looked like Mark Sanchez in a good game. Good but um, guy, Mark well, he never he had a big arm, guy. you know. And once he starts to go downhill, his arm a little bit physically, like Breeze will be done. Because but he could hit those. He could always hit those sneaky downfield throw. Like he was. That's what I'm saying. Though, but was if he just, loses that. Just yeah, that there, little yeah. Extra, it felt like yeah. there was none of that. Yeah. But Teeb, let's talk about. Uh, I mean, the that meltdown. game. Was, that game was crazy. I just think the Falcons are cursed. I think, or maybe it's me. Now, if the Cubs had never won the World Series, and then I would go, my favorite teams are the Cubs, the Clippers, and the Falcons, mm-hmm. I would definitely think it's me. 
Um, but thank God the Cubs got one World Series in 112 years. What so was that's scene, pretty sweet. Let's just start with this. What was the scene like in your place when when the Cowboys uh, got recovered that onside kick? Right Up 20 nothing, three turnovers. I, against three turnovers forced by the same linebacker. Yeah. Wow. He has three forced turnovers for the Falcons. So then we go up quick 20 nothing. go up a quick 20 Killing nothing. Them. Then that linebacker gets hurt. Then our defensive end gets hurt. Then our safety gets hurt. So the second half, we're down three starters. I'm not making excuses by no, any way. Because the bottom line is this. You're in the NFL. This isn't Pop Warner football. This isn't Madden against your college roommate. This isn't college football. You're in the NFL on special teams. And you're circling around a ball that's just spinning right in front of you. Yeah. And they can't touch it for 10 yards, and you can. No, fall but Jason, on it. I've seen you, I, at, I've fall seen you on at work it. when the Falcons lose, and you freak out. So what was it like at your house when this was going on? Did, uh, the drywall guys, uh, drywall guys coming tomorrow. <laughs> did you really break anything? Seriously? I didn't even know they had a drywall guy. So you, you don't know what you have till you need it. And, that's, and that's actually dangerous to know that you have a fixer. Well, I yeah, do have a fixer. you can just pound drywall. Well, I also want to say this because I worked out a, a sweet, sweet deal with this guy. So I want to say a big shout out uh, to our new sponsor, Rodriguez Drywall. Guys, if you ever need drywall, whether you're punching a hole in the wall or you throw your old bitch right through it, giving her what's coming wow. to her, Rodriguez Drywall for all of your drywall necessities. I always have them patch it up until there's just a little glory hole. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. say, that one's for daddy. And then I write daddy <laughs> over. That's the thing. That's yeah. exactly. Because, you know, like when you have a baby and then they go, well, they call it the daddy stitch where they mm -hmm. tighten up the vagina a little bit more. This one's for the daddy. Yep. And then that's what I do with the drywall guy. I go, hey, well, what have you got there as far as a... <laughs> I wonder if there's ever been a creepy guy who's like, keep going. And they're like, what? He's like, see you later. <laughs> yeah. No. And I go, I go, just, like, just leave it. Sir, is this even your child? No, but I just like them closed. Well, he goes, oh, boy, hell, look at look at here, fella. You really punched a hole right in the wall. You want me to patch this up? I go, I just want you to lower it. I don't need you to patch it up. I just need it about 14 inches lower. Or I need a stool. So thanks, Rodriguez Drywalling, our new sponsor. Can I say this, Teeb, and welcome back, Sam. Sam's back from nursing. His Dude, thanks for having me on your podcast, No guys. problem, Sam. We'll get Love to you in a minute. Them. I hear you got some exciting CW news. You just got picked up to nine episodes on the Showtime <laughs> show at the Comedy Store on CW tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute, Sam. Teeb, when I was watching your Falcons in that game. Well, the other bad thing about it, <laughs> real quick, real quick. <laughs> This is the best podcast where you try to make a play and Jason jumps. I'll well, listen to this team. all day. It's his team. <laughs> Go oh, well, I was going to say, the, to your point, what the, makes it even worse is that you got to see it because every other game ended and the entire country yeah. switched to watch yeah, yeah. the Falcons melt down. Oh, totally. Well, because that, that game, that was a game where, okay, so McCarthy's 0-1 and, and McCarthy coached the Packers, took a year off, and everyone was like, when is someone going to hire this offensive guru? <laughs> and and then he's just, like the first game classic McCarthy just plays you know just he just he sucks he's not good he's like he's got and the fact that he pulled that off that's how he does it I heard that he's he from the behind or he wins though. by three or seven I, and, seriously I heard that he gives the best interviews like job interviews seriously. Oh, is, that, is that code for blow jobs no no, yep. no he, he is like elite <laughs> at interviews um, yeah he sucks sure. all the answers right down his throat the, the Panthers almost hired him. I mean, he, he really is. I, I just think that. He's a great interviewer. I mean, it was a multitude of things. I don't, I don't even think he had anything to do with it, McCarthy. I don't either. I mean, but he Falcons could, missed uh, a two-point conversion. Julio a, Jones dropped a 41-yard touchdown, which he never does. Yeah. And then. Um, Where the fuck is Sam? It's, oh, he's, he's, he's just a mystery. This guy's always just whatever. He, he pops in. He leaves. Pops you, back in after you know, apparently 12 nitrous hits because he can't stop laughing. He's giggling like a fucking you know clown who, getting tickled. You know who he's like on this podcast? Remember Quantum Leap? He's like Al. He just kind of like <laughs> pops in like Al on Quantum Leap. <laughs> What's that guy? Scott Bakula? Was he the guy in Quantum Yeah. Scott Dean, Bakula Dean was the Stockton other guy. is Al. Yeah. Dean Stockton. Scott Bakula. I mean, the, uh, 
That's the, the Al character was always would pop in and he had like a gigantic like old school Weird calculator with a but phone connected to it. With Sam, it's just a it's a whipped cream canister and he's just n taking nitrous out of it. He's upside down laughing. He's literally upside down on this, hanging upside down like a bat. The whole it time. was his foot for a minute. It was his foot for the. Well, look at his By the way, I've it's never seen minutes. him. I've never once seen him do his other podcasts away from the computer. He's always got his microphone, headphones, and never once has he done punch drunk. Johnny, are you trying to suggest that Sam's heart is not in the game anymore? Yeah, yeah. With this. Well, one. I mean, it has been just not in the last four years. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we're just waiting for a rally here. Yeah, that's right. Sooner or later. He's a second half podcaster. I've always said that. He makes Rose good Red. adjustments at the half. He's not playing the Falcons, though. So. Who does? And the Falcons are 0 2. Yeah, they're fucked now. 0 oh, 2. Yeah. Now, but they're, they're, they get, look, Carolina's not good. No. Uh, Tampa Bay, I mean, I don't think is great. And Carolina and, just we, lost McCaffrey for some We got yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota McCaffrey, we got Detroit. For a while. We, I think we play you, don't we? Yeah, we play each other. Yeah. Uh -huh. Soon, too. And they have yeah, the extra so. playoff teams this year, so maybe I don't know. Yeah, so I would imagine I would. Look, I don't. Here's, I don't here's think what's scary. I, 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 and I know you're a big football guy, Gareth. So, I, and I know you know your football. Here's a, a devastating stat. In in the last two games, the Falcons have given up 87 points Oof. and 951 yards. I mean, well. That's 500 yards a game. The points is you really bad. You can't score, but you, can't, you scored 34 points. You have no business losing in the NFL. You can't yeah. score 34 and lose. And we so all know this. Championship teams, all championship teams, for the most part, are teams that win 17-3, to three, are teams that can control the clock and can keep your offense off the field and, can, and get turnovers and capitalize on turnovers. And the Falcons but, are like, let's score in three plays and put our we, defense back on. But play. as we also know, week two <laughs> is the time when every determination has been made and 50% of them are completely inaccurate and things just happen where you're like, oh, shit, they got it together. You know, so I don't know. It, it really depends. I mean, I, I don't know too much about the inner workings of the Falcons, but they're, I mean, they're not a young team. So that is, you know. Our defense is young. Well, see, then that's a good sign. If you're – Our that, offense I mean, is th But that's medium. also – like, yeah, I mean, but you have ballers. I mean, you know, I would say that, like, if you have a young defense, then week seven, see how they're playing, you know? Yeah. Well, also, other, this is such a weird year for young players, yeah. too, because you, yeah. get, you get barely got any camp. I Johnny mean, you did – Johnny and I were saying that. Johnny and I were saying that you're getting a lot of – and not yeah. just Falcons, across the NFL. You're getting a lot of preseason mistakes when yeah. it counts. When totally. It counts. Totally. So Falcons I mean, were playing Seattle, and they had a fourth and five at the fifty, and give up a fifty-yard bomb to DK Metcalf, and you're like, ain't nobody on that field thinking about fourth and five a fucking bomb. Yeah. Everyone's looking at the run. You're looking at the little fucking crossing routes. You're looking at the slow drags. Well, did you watch Hard Knocks? Like Hard Knocks was insane. It was just like this is what it. this is the year I haven't seen it yet. But Johnny keeps telling me that it's good. It was kind of rough <laughs> this year. I, I love I the show. It. Well, it's. I, I, I thought it was a mistake doing two teams. I don't know. I, I did too, know. totally. I think, but they probably thought because of COVID, they were like, we're not going to have enough shit, which actually yeah, might have been true idea. because. That's probably true. I mean, when you're watching it, you're, the first couple, you're just like, what's going yeah. on? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it was literally just a bunch of Zoom meetings for the first Yeah, time. it's like a re it's just totally was a re it, was, it could have been on Bravo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I but yeah, no, I, I mean, like, I, I definitely think there's time for, for the Falcons to rally. I think a Especially lot of Especially in that division. Yeah, the NFC South is not it's not strong this year. Yeah. And, I, it. and and wasn't it three four weeks ago everybody's like that's the best division in football? And that happens every that happens like every two years. So like I literally don't believe it when anybody says it. Whatever no, division. You know what I you know what I didn't do this year was I didn't watch a lot leading up to the season. Um, because you I thought think, it wasn't gonna happen and you didn't want to get your hopes up? No, just because I think they're so fucking annoying. Like, I just think the prognostication, I've watched it for long enough now where it's almost like watching the news, where I'm just like, this is such a scripted thing where, you know, when they walk, when like, when you have like a guy on ESPN going like, and that's who's going to win the NFC North. You're just like, this guy doesn't know. These guys just don't know shit, you know? I mean. And the amount of people that don't know shit 
is yeah that are on tv people. and the thing is that's what they're doing that's what the news and espn is is it's all like it's all prediction like there's not a lot to report on so they're just like who do you think will do something and they're like yeah let me go to the monitor that i can't properly work yeah they have no fucking idea and you can watch 11 different shows and get 11 different opinions yeah yeah have you ever you ever watch inside the nfl uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 like phil sims i think is there's something wrong with phil sims <laughs> Who do you trust and who do you not trust as far as like the glow, the spectrum of the normal uh, broadcasters we get? I mean, you know, you don't say somebody rare or somebody crazy like that. Oh, and by the way, I got to tell you, did I tell you this, Johnny? Martin Gramatica. Did I tell you about his show? His show? He has a show. <laughs> I can't wait to tell you. No way. I'm dicking off. Well, my mom just moved into a new house that I just punched a bunch of holes into the wall, by sure, the way. Sure. I was just not making even sure. Bill Gramatica? Come on, man. So I'm flipping through and it gets the new cable hooked up and all that. So it's like kind of like new channels. You're uh -huh. trying to like get. Is it, ca is it cable or is it some like it's straight up cable cable? So I don't know where this thing, but it's like one of the shittiest shit channels. The kind of channels that show like Lost in Space reruns really right, right. at night. Yeah. Like, I used to love no... those channels when I was a kid. Well, they're, still, they're still great when you're older, but yeah. Right. But so then I'm like, and it, so it's morning time ish, like 10 in the morning, whatever. And I'm dicking around. Usually it's when you watch like, you know, Rich Eisen or one of those kind of sports shows, sports talk shows. Yeah. yeah all of a sudden I get to like the hundred, I'm in the hundreds of channels. <laughs> One twenty eight or something like that. And it goes, the Martin Gramatica show. And I go, that can't be the same Martin Gramatica that I know of. He better, it better be him and his brothers and they better be like <laughs> Miami Vice cops. It's even way worse. No, it can't be. The production value of this was like a locked camera and like they're in like a radio. It's like a radio show that they've put on television. Right. This is OK. OK. So it's like sports radio and it's in oh, out of I Tampa. See. It's out of Tampa. Of course. Yeah. You always I always say do the radio show where you broke your leg celebrating. <laughs> yeah. So and the episode that I've only seen one episode, but it was so bad. And I'm like, what can this guy possibly be talking about? Right when I turn it on, now his normal co-host is gone. Okay. And it's just some like random black guy that is just happy to be on radio. How do you know that, that, that it's not supposed to be that way? They, they're contextualizing it and being like... Several okay. times. Right, yeah. okay. Se several times they mention that. Which is not a good sign either to, during a broadcast, mention several times how it's abnormal. And the guy that's filling in for him is like this, like a uh, 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 Stephen A. Smith, like must be his hero. Okay, gotcha. Because he wants to be like Stephen A. Smith on the radio, too, with right. Martin Grant. And right when I tune it in, I'm like, oh, this looks like pure shit. He, Martin Gramatica is telling some story about how he beat some guy in a bar last night. Now, and I can't what? figure out what he beat him at. Oh, and, oh I thought you meant. Yeah, and that. As, yeah. as he's talking more, and you know, man, you know, I get that championship mentality. I'm gonna <laughs> and I, I, I got to win. About? I got to win. Gareth Reynolds, I swear on everything that I care about. As the story unfolds, he's playing, and this guy's just a sh baker. That's what he keeps calling him. He's just a baker, man. This guy's making cookies for a living. You know what I mean? I'm a professional athlete, oh, so I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lose to this I guy. I am so They're offended. They're playing that flip fucking football game that you I'm, play in high school. <laughs> I'm so offended that he thinks of himself like that. I know. It's just <laughs> disgraceful. I would I much know. rather a baker have a radio show than Martin <laughs> Gramatica. So Martin Gramatica is like, all of a sudden I'm down, I'm down 3-1. I, I, I got to get my championship caliber mentality going. <laughs> you know, and this they're is playing golden the flip. Yeah, like, they're playing like flip he's football. Michael Jordan it's triangles, right? Is that what it's called? Triangles? Whatever it's called, yeah, triangles. Wait, whatever. he's seriously talking about triangles? I swear in my goddamn life. I swear this on my is... motherfucking life. You know hey, dude, right. don't fuck He saw, he saw Michael life. Jordan in The Last Dance. I swear on before. Jesus Christ, gay, black dick, that I will suck. <laughs> wow. He must, I know Jason, and he must be serious. Dude, you guys is... should put that on Patreon. If, That'll get you a lot. If Jesus Patreon. is real, make he give all four of us cancer. Oh, good Lord. I don't know what happened. If no. there's a real God, <laughs> all four no. of us get cancer. Wow. Now, I'll, prove, I'll prove to you there's no God right there. No. If if there is a guy, uh, nope, all four nope. of us will get cancer within yeah, but the next the year. If we do, I think we're all going to be a little pissed off. Yeah, I, I we're going to know there's a God. that you just proved God. No, we didn't need to be a part of this. Yeah, we're just collateral. In hindsight, in hindsight, babies. I show up and I get looped into this 
dumb bad Sam's, Sam's, yeah, Sam's a father. Welcome back to the show. Sam's Who's married to five women and has a show tomorrow. on TLC. Would you have some goddamn respect? That's true. Don't <laughs> don't say Charles. Don't trick Brennan Schwab on me. <laughs> Sammy Hold Charles on, Schwab. Are you drinking wine? Talking sports. Hey, yeah. someone said Jesus, and I fancied a bit of blood. <laughs> I know, I know. That was water before the show started. You're damn God right. Damn I just ordered a pizza, chick so I'm gonna have a little of the body with show. cheese. <laughs> Can I? That's what I do when I call and order a pizza. Can I get a body with extra cheese? <laughs> and um, do you guys have ham? Great. Let's throw a bunch of that on there. Uh, throw some ham on there. Throw Dude, some ham on the body. Do you put pineapple on your pizza, Gareth? I don't, but I don't. I'm, I I don't eat meat, so my pizzas are fucking boring as shit to regular people. How long have you not eaten meat? For like a, ten years. I have seen you tug at the chicken, though. You know what I'm saying? See, come on, man. No, We're on air. Mean? What do you mean by that? What do you He's, mean? I, I'm We're on air. I, what? What does that I'm mean, dude? Air. We're live what? on air. Fine, tell him, dude. Out me. He sucked my dick. Oh, I sucked okay. Jason's dick. Okay. <laughs> like Fuck. more than more than fifty times. I'm so is that mean God is Jesus exists? Because he, on. I want to start this Jesus new. Exists? I want to do this new segment where we, where we read out read our guest Johnny. Put yeah, your wait, but Jason, can you use the paper on. and pass it across your face, a la Sam and the Charles Schwab commercial? <laughs> Thank you. Actor. Okay, now I'm ready. Gareth, you know, we, we on on September on September 9th, Gareth, you tweeted. I fucking hate all female comics, and I think they all suck. This is no, also Jason, black people get out of the industry. Jason, what did you I mean never, by that? I, I first of all, this segment is a loser. I'm reading it right here. That's a loser it's, segment. It's uh, handwritten. Oh my god, the data's in. We're crushing it right now. It's Jason, 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 let's do this. Biggest, it I'm better not be that, Jason. <laughs> you, that is handwritten, and I never said that. I mean, this I might be the handwriting. biggest. This might be our biggest segment ever. I don't I know. I don't what that know. Says this is a loser us. segment. This is a loser no. segment, dude. No, this is no, a real this one. Is huge. Well, let's take a look at another one here. No, no, I don't Wait, think there's any more. Another one. One more. Do another one. I mean, no, I, I, I feel like we're going to the well too much. This segment just sucks. More. This is a shit segment. Hey, industry. This is what Gareth Reynolds tweeted September. By the way, September 11th, you got some real balls Whoa, tweeting this on 9/11. Yeah, real, Come real on. balls. Hey, America. Real. Hey America, suck it, you faggots! Okay, that my name is not, my name's that, Gareth, and I wouldn't vote for anybody because I don't believe in America. No, what the fuck are you tweeting about? This bro? is not. I, I think it's very clear to anyone who's listening and to anyone yeah. that is not me. And I and I think I was. What very was your name again? What was your name again? I, I don't want to say it because you're gonna say it's me. But again, these are written on loose leaf paper. It's like a child wrote these, you're and I guess. You're Gary Reynolds, right? No, Gareth. <laughs> no, first of all, it's Gareth. But again, handwritten. Yeah, that wasn't you. My bad. I, I don't oh, know why. Dude. Wow. Our, that segment was crushing. But no, hang on. I'm going to go to I'll go to his Twitter right now. What's your Twitter? I'm going to go to it. I, I'm not telling you anything. Something about know. fat cat something. It's at, at I'm not cat. telling you anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fat cat. All right. Smoke not, crack with your British fat cousins. Cat. Sam, are you jerking off? Be yes. totally honest. Yes. Who is only Sam wears a baseball hat with a top flipped up in bed? You look like you're what are you taking bets right now? You motherfucker? Yes. Yes. Sam looks like a paralyzed bookie. Yes. Looks, yeah, Sam look he looks like yes. a bookie that somebody broke his legs with a baseball bat in yes. Vegas. In oh, Vegas, yes. yes, yes, that's all one night that. only. Sam versus his bookie in the ring. One bat, one triple E. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Oh man, man, great times, dude. Great times, um, oh, Gareth. I know you're uh, you you only into football. That's the only sport you like. No, I like I like other sports. I like he basketball. likes water sports, according to oh his Twitter. Oh my god, I love water basketball <laughs> at parties. That's not what you're saying on Twitter. On Twitter, no, no, no. That's, uh, we moved on from that segment, team. No, we didn't, because uh, December 14th. Your hand uh, written. I'm looking at your tweets right now. You go, hand, is that from hey, the future? Hey, all you creepy gay guys out there, there's nothing I like more than hot piss in my hair. What the Facts fuck are you me. talking about? What are you talking talking about? You're the one asking to get your hair pissed on, you weirdo. <laughs> Again, you read that off a of paper, and you said you were going to go to my... This segment's a loser. What's Twitter? <laughs> oh, my God. This can't be... Come on. Oh, Sam, man. jump in. This is like Twitter when I write ever. stuff that you said? No, no, this is the no, best no, segment no. we've ever done. No, that's, I mean, just, no, Jason, listen, that's slander. Jason, slander. Oh, slander.com. 
Jason, we should scrap the podcast and just do this segment all the time where we just read tweets from Gareth's Twitter. You know what we really should do is we should start a app called Slander where you just make up fake things about people and it's legal. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's oh, called my. the Me Too movement. Oh, no, that's I think called that's actually called Twitter. <laughs> you mean when I was perusing your Facebook page and I noticed what you it's posted? Hand, handwritten. <laughs> on March 18th, you go, hey, if this coronavirus thing is real, I hope all white women get it uh, <laughs> because you're useless, you're trash. And I would you, never your, say this. All you're good for is swallow and come with your torso, oh, suck at white not, bitches. Yeah, come on. I, I, I only have a fan page. How did you not get your there. Facebook banned for saying all yeah, that Yeah, because I didn't say it. Never was said by me. It's it was never right written. here. <laughs> it's written, and I don't even think it's written. It's, it's on paper. Okay, it's Jason, real. Do me a favor. Show yeah. me. Hold the paper up so I can see that status update written down right now, though. Dude, look, it's even got the little no, heart no, next he's, to no, it. You're just, no, man. That's <laughs> it looks real it's to right me, dude. There. <laughs> it looks real to me. It's 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 almost it like looks... Twitter if it was in the air, you know? Oh I mean, look at God. that. Well, that I will say like this. how you tweet. He at least has gum cum written in his notebook. Which brings us up to our new sponsor. Hey, are you a gay guy or an awesome girl? Or maybe just a little curious. Well, then go to our new sponsor, Cum Gun. Yeah, that's right, Cum Gum. Use the code Don't Gum in My Mouth and get a free pack. It sounded like Thanks, you said Cum Gum. Cum Gun for a second, which is. No, that's my dick. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What the fuck is happening? This is the best. We got show new we've sponsors, bro. That's what's happening. You, you Jason hear? would be doing this even if we weren't here. That's the best part. <laughs> I've been doing this all day. I've just been waiting for people to talk to. Did you guys see the shit that uh, Jason Whitlock said about Katie Nolan? No. Uh-huh. Guys- I don't know who you, either you- of those people are. I know who Jason Whitlock is. Or you I know who other- Jason Whitlock is? I know who Whitlock is. I, th- I thought you said Whitworth. Jason Whitlock, wh- wh- what do you say about who? Katie Nolan? Let's have him explain this. So basically, Katie Nolan is this young lady that's been um, – she she started out Fox Sports. You remember when they were like, Sp- Fox Sports is going to take over ESPN? Yeah. And they just tried to be ESPN and like they nothing like, happened. They heard Colin Coward and like Skip Bayless and they were like, all right, let the money <laughs> roll in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like nothing happened. Yeah. Everyone was like, we hate one those thing we people. Know about, one thing we know about. show on there. Uh-huh. And she, uh, you know, she's a, she, she, you know, she's dating is uh, Dan Soder. And. Okay. And uh, she, well, now she's moved to ESPN. She got some weird kind of show, but so there's this, um, there is this, okay, Jason Whitlock opens himself up to criticism after making sexist comments about ESPN hosts. It's like, you can't criti- like if you're a guy and you criticize a woman, it's automatic sexism. It it's automatically. So he kind of went after this, this Maria Ta- Taylor, who's this, young uh, black female that's on uh, ESPN. She's a former college athlete and she's really good at her job. She's really good at it. And uh, so what happened was she got in deep, she got in some trouble because she was given a vote for all NBA, first team, second team, third team. And someone figured out she didn't vote for uh, Anthony Davis and like an uproar happened. And I don't understand what the controversy is because she didn't have to put him on the on there. It's not it's like not. it's so weird. Everyone's like, "Why do you put him on there?" She's like, "I'm so sorry." I'm like, what? "So sorry." And then Doug Gottlieb's like, "Is why is she like even allowed to vote? Like, who is she?" And now then she came back saying that was sexist, and now everyone's just calling sexist. So Katie Nolan and this guy uh, Jason Whitlock kind of haven't gotten along for a long time, and he's he kind of blew her up you know and just in terms of like all the shit she's getting she he thinks she deserves it's you know it's here's, just here's, here's, a quote. He, here's a quote yeah. he says Be- beauty intoxicates tv executives bloggers journalists and it masks a lack of accomplishment qualifications and skill beauty transformed katie nolan from a bartender to a seven-figure personality emmy award winner and the darling of aroused bloggers and TV critics willing to ignore her pedestrian humor and, and inability I mean, that to is execute aggressive. live television. That's, that is insane. Here's why that's insane. Because, like you're saying, Sam, there's clearly some 
I mean, there's, there's skill like, and, and with anything you have, there's, it's like a combination of factors, but you couldn't, ESPN might try to aim like news networks, try to aim to put like more attractive people on air. Thank but you. There are also, you're welcome, Jason. <laughs> but there are also many other things that factor. I mean, Jason Whitlock does come off like a dickhead from that quote. Well, sure. my biggest thing is this. It's like, it's like, I, I, I'm sure if you went from Kate, Katie Nolan's point of view, she like she put in her time. She's 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 uh, you know put in a lot of work. Here's the whole thing. It's like you're always gonna have guys or any even women who've been doing it for a while, watching like young, uh, uh, pretty yeah. people get plugged in, and there's yeah. going to be some uh, there's gonna be some animosity about that. But there's also it's like. It's like, unfortunately, it's like, this is part of the gig now. It's like, there is like a million people trying to get a million people to watch them. And you got to say some crazy shit to get people yeah. to tune in. You're and, talking about what Whitlock said? Yeah. I mean, Whitlock, yeah, it's totally. not that he's necessarily wrong. It's no, just like. But even the just, way he, even if that point was valid, which I don't know that it is. I mean, certainly not solely valid. The way he says it is really aggressive. Like there's listen, a way to say that that's like not we that listen. Dick-ish. You Arouse. see it all the time, Gareth. Like he's You'll insinuating see. that people are just like jacking off to her. Mm. Yeah. Well, yes, of course, and that's what we all say. You know, it's like you see these young girls; they kind of go quickly on the road with older male comics. You're like, what's that? Because they're pretty girls and young guys. I mean, I'm not gonna say names, but there's like this one comic that like he should just get smitten with this young female comic, like Joe Rogan. Oh, she's really super no she's really super funny man blah 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 you're like what and it's just like that's just the way it is you can't get mad at that because that's that's the system part of it totally yeah and it's just the way it is here's the problem one is like the reason this other girl is getting criticized is the dumbest thing in the world because she didn't put one particular player on there so now she's getting shit and it's like oh she's not qualified it's like dude she didn't want to put anthony davis in the top like uh 15 players in the nba who gives a shit don't you also when you find out who is actually on the board of voting for those things like there are people where you're like what like that's that's not a new thing Right, like there I are multiple people where you're like, I mean, I think if I mean you could say that for so many people. You know? It's the same thing with the Academy Awards. It's like anybody that's got a fucking that gets yeah. to vote for that shit. It's like people that like acted in one small, like let's say a a Charles, Charles Schwab, Schwab, commercial. Schwab commercial or something. Yes. Yeah, what? Like, what? Did I get a nomination? Yeah, you. No, you get to vote for people that get that get to win shit. It's but like Sam, that. I will. Did you know that this year you're nominated for the Lifetime Achievement at the Schwabies? The Achievement Award? Lifetime Achievement? Achievement, achievement at the Schwabies. Achievement. Okay, I like that. I didn't I like say that. Achievement. Well, I, yeah, a even lifetime. if I did. I, I, that's what they a good call enough it premise to overlook that, even if but, I did. But, but back to real quick, is like, and there's also going to be people get pushed to the front of the line. And what, like, like these, these two girls that were, these women, excuse me, that were criticized in this you can article call that went along. Okay. They, they kind of did like a, um, a Zoom meeting together, right? And uh, they were like talking about all this stuff that's kind of going on. And they, you know, along the lines of uh, Whitlock said that they, they felt pressure, like they, people don't realize what, what kind of pressure it is to be pretty, but it's like, it's it's this weird kind of double edged sword because that's a that's a part of the reason why you have the job. So to act like that is part of the, it's like this weird ass thing. So you get pushed to the front of the line, you're going to have a lot more pressure on you to perform because everyone's like, yeah. why didn't you have to wait your turn? And that is what goes on in show business. It is I was just gonna say, and in tr- many in many other businesses too. I mean, I you know you have a fucking toolbox and like you yeah you use it. I mean shit, you know. Like but Jason a has a huge why. cock, and that's why he's, you know, that's why he's a crusher. Gareth, true or false? I'm looking at one of your tweets right now. Uh. <laughs> uh, June 1st, and I can prove that you said this, uh, Gareth wrote, I want to fight Joe Rogan. Is that true or false? And if Never, you don't believe how it, can you prove it? You wrote it right there, bro. <laughs> that's, that, that, all that, that says, looks legit, dude. <laughs> first of Show all, me it. it says Show me Gareth, it, Jason he, again. It's like Eminem wrote it in Eminem font. That looks like the R is backwards, and then uh, he says, "I want to fight." Joe I never Rogan said I'm a smart a guy, Gareth. You're but the one who wants to fight. It Rogan. Should be no, it should be invalidating for what you're saying. 
Uh, no. That's gonna now, be tough. Now, is it true that like it came down to you or Joe Rogan getting that Spotify deal, and that's why you're a little angry right now? <laughs> is that true? I'm not. First of all, I never said I wanted to fight Joe Rogan. Second of all, I'm not going to get <laughs> into the fact that potentially the Spotify deal was kind of being narrowed down to a couple of people and that maybe Spotify led some of us on to think we were going to be in the winner's circle only to find out via Twitter, uh, not with a conference call on free conference call that it's not a go. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be the guy. Who that, here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be that guy. Is it true that Jason Whitlock wrote that article that you, that you found out that you didn't get the Spotify deal? Is that why you're mad at Jason Whitlock and I'm, his take on these hot chicks? I'm, I'm not going to even get into the fact, the fact that Jason Whitlock leaked that to me. And I don't like the way that Jason Whitlock <laughs> handled the entire ordeal, let alone I was already drunk from what happened when I found out that Rogan was even in contention to get a Spotify deal. Because honestly, when you look at downloads, it's a no brainer. Well, hey, um, I'm not the smartest uh, 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 guy in the world, but who tweeted, who tweeted this? What? April 9th, I dare the FBI to ruin my life. I, the spelling yeah. is abysmal. I mean, hey, you're the reason. idiot, bro. You're the, <laughs> but you're like, you dare many, the FBI to ruin your life? You how many vowels do you know? Dude, it's like dude half you them. write like you're haunted. That's how you write. You write like Stan writes to Eminem. <laughs> I love how we're talking about my penmanship when you're the one challenging Rogan to a fist fight. And, and Darren, well, Jason, to if you listen life. to him, he has reasons. And I've valid. said nothing. I've said nothing. He said that he thought he had the Spotify deal. I never the said fact that. that Jason Whitlock I've broke the news that. to him, I and he and that he doesn't like black people that much. So this it's just it's getting further from the truth for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I this is this is this is again this is slimy. hey hey this is the point where I like to get to know the guest real quick. <laughs> well, <laughs> do you have a sting for it or is this just an on the fly news segment? Let me guess. Hey, Garrett Twizzle, what are your podcasts you listen to? Being one of the top five hundred podcasters. Yeah, in what LA. what podcast do you listen to, Gareth? Do you listen yeah, to any Gareth, I don't wrong? really listen to podcasts, Come on, Gareth. No, I don't really podcast. listen to anything. I'll actually listen to, a, depending on guests, I'll listen to a Rogan every now and then. Uh, but I don't really listen to shit. I really don't. I Do you to like to watch like British comedies from the 70s? I only watch Faulty Towers. And <laughs> the reason hey. is because there's so few episodes. Gareth, why did, you, why did you tweet a picture of this? What is it? We can't see it. Yeah, okay, what is that's that, a picture Gareth? of me. My name is a Y wow. in it, first of all. And it's me. Gareth it's huge. is pissing on God. Oh, what are you? What are you I, doing, Garrett? I, I cannot be a part of this podcast anymore. I can't Garrett. either because the thing is, Each we try to have a regular show where we're talking about normal stuff. Can you bring that this up? This turkey lips comes up. I'm actually most this offended about how giant he made his dick look. Look at the size of his dick. I know. The rest well, of he, hey, how about the fucking teeth? He's that's a shot at the English part. <laughs> yeah, he's asshole. mad. No, it's because because you apparently are so mad. Why do you call me an asshole when you're the attitude of it? It's almost Why like you drew it. Why are you calling me an asshole when you're the one posting that selfie? That's the, how could that? I can't even break down what's happening anymore. It's so. Yeah, I, this is my. I like to do. <laughs> oh, Sam, you got a new segment. What's it called? Oh, I love this. <laughs> Sam's new segment. My, called, you I, know what my favorite segment Sam's is? Sam's new segment <laughs> is I'm taking nitrous. At the end of this, at the end of the show, you guys should do <laughs> Sam's new segments, and it'll just be a highlight reel of Sam's segments that we never really got to that he thought he invented. Wait, he really <laughs> likes this one. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Oh, All right, what's this new segment? He may what even your, sit up for it. What are your hopes and dreams? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I hope that you can walk again someday, and I dream of a life where you don't need gamblers to fuel your addictions. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Hey, Garrett, do you feel basketball at all? I've read about it, sure. That's the sport where they dribble. Do you only enjoy stuff that's derived from some – sort of white activities i would say when it comes to sharks the great white's my number one sure <laughs> what does that even mean but derived sam, from white activities sam, what what happened this sam, what happened to his ass? this year yeah you showed us your asshole some, and some, he's gone. Just, something sam? bad just happened because he just you like know, pulled I the phone feel, down like that i feel like sam is in a hotel room right now 
on some either being watched or watching. Hey, Garris, what happened when you tweeted this? What, oh, what did no. you mean when you were talking about this? Okay, what? I wrote, I miss I when the what... N-word had meaning. That, I never said I miss <laughs> when the N-word had meaning. And the spelling what is... What is the N... Yeah, I, I mean, your spelling is all over the place. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a tweet. It's not a screenshot. You hand, these are handwritten. <laughs> what, 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 define handwritten. <gasps> you wrote them by hand just now on paper. How could he do that this fast, though? Nobody could do it that fast. He's had plenty yeah, of time. <laughs> I'm here hosting this show. What do you he mean? Said, he, he's literally he would, said nothing. He, he writes would, and then he, he wakes up every five minutes with a new would, and I'm quoting <laughs> air quoting tweet. He would, have right, to have a, he would have to have a laser printer to do it that fast. I just I know. I know. What time. do you think? I got a secretary? I'm not Sam. I don't have a bunch of women waiting on me hand and foot while I lay in bed <laughs> taking bets with my baseball hat on with my broken <laughs> legs. Look, if Sam Guys, walks look. again, you're going to be sad because he's going to see you in Vegas, <laughs> fuck face. Well, Saturday night, 7 p.m. <laughs> Guys, it's time to pay some bills here. Uh, I want to thank our new sponsor and our new friend, Elverett, uh, Rena Tibzi Corporation. And <laughs> you know Rena Tibzi Corp, the people that brought you flammable pajamas, the underwater bl <laughs> blanket, and the breakaway noose. Um, so <laughs> I want to thank them for our new sponsor, No Floaties. Hey, do you have infants or children that don't know how to swim? Well, now Sam, you can this is for you. Ooh, 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 now now ooh. you can teach them to swim strong with no floaties. They come in 5, 10, and 50 pound ankle and wrist, wrist weights. Uh, hold your breath with the best with no floaties. Use the code Where's Timmy and receive a 55 pound set for free. Thanks, no floaties. You know what's so funny? That, that just brought fear to me i just listening to it i was like oh my god that, that's because you're a dad yeah, yeah. i just like when you're, you finished inside of a lady there's uh -huh. a, yeah. i've done that several times and i thought yeah, that was right. hilarious bit. but sam that's the thing that happens you actually have kids and all of a sudden something that was hilarious to you before it hits this little animal thing in the back of your brain that makes you go what if that really happens? I remember I had yeah, what, how, what would I do? What would I do? Kids was funny. I miss those days. It's still hilarious. <laughs> can be hilarious. I'm at well. What we're doing at Rent a TV Corp, we're actually teaching kids not to drown. And if you're listening to this, kids, swim. Don't drown. It's not Man, that hard. That segment's the best segment. Hey, I like to do a little thing called get to know the guest. Oh, and, good. Uh, oh, let's bounce back and forth between these two segments. That I don't think you can. Gareth, who are some of your favorite black people? Oh, gosh. I mean... And don't guess, be ironic. I would say my, my number one is Dizzy Gillespie. Oh, see you later, Sam. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Sam's gone again. The he's, FBI's he, there. He's taking the call off the air. Yeah. Your favorite non-Packer black guy? Uh, Non-Packer so Green Bay black, black guy. Um... Wow, that's that's the tough. Greek There's freak, not a right? The Greek just, freak. Just name a black person. How about that, uh, guys? I don't want to seem like I'm buckling here. I can name one. Good lord. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take I will. We can't really move on until the segment's done. It's okay. Kind of well, just rule. if everybody could take the heat off me a little, I'm sure I could come up with a black athlete's name. If actually could. just say a first name. Hey, let's all calm the fuck down. <laughs> Let's all just chill for a minute. This isn't about a name, a first name, a last name. It's about the American dream. The spirit. Still waiting. Country. Still waiting. Still waiting. Okay. Jack. <laughs> My guy. He's awesome. When was the last time you saw a quality black name, Jack? Anybody? Jackie Anybody? Robinson, I guess. Black Jack the game? Yeah, it's been like 50 years, right? Yeah, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Joyner Kersey. Yeah, there you go. Or mine. Oh, Jackson. Jack. Does Jack Black count? <laughs> I mean, he's, technically, he is a black Jack. He he's a black a, guy. He is a black. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, I, I, they don't like being called that, the black family. Who, really. Jack Black? He doesn't like being called black. Yeah. Oh, you know what's so funny? Tenacious D had the best merch. You ever see Tenacious D yeah. live? The, I yes. haven't. I regret. They had the best merch in the, that I've Cleveland, ever seen. Of the anything. Cleveland Steamers, that shirt. No, Jersey. they had little hand like golf towels. Probably cost them fucking five bucks to print. They were selling for twenty bucks, and all it said on it was "Comrade, courtesy of Tenacious D." <laughs> I 
amazing right. merch. And I'm gonna start making those. Right. I bet. Sam, I'm you can't say them. that on air. No, that's. I'm gonna sell Tenacious D cum racks. Oh, Jesus, Sam, that's. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a bad move to <laughs> fail. Like yeah, dude. With like a target. It's like when you go yeah. to like Africa and they have like Atlanta uh, Falcons Super Bowl champ shirts. Yeah, and, right. Yeah, right. Lost, and hey, like, Gareth, if, if I sold a cum rag with your face on it, go would ahead. That I'm be listening. Weird? Would that be weird? Uh, Sam, like Brown. I'll sell them for twenty bucks. I'll make them for two dollars, and I'll give you like a dollar for yeah. each sale. Sam, <laughs> I'm not a moron. Can I shake a hand through Zoom? Because fuck yes. Yes, I'm in. I'll sign anything. That now sounds great. Right. Okay, let's be honest here. Out of everybody on this, on this, uh -huh. on this Zoom call, whose face on a jizz rag would sell more jizz rags? Out of ours, Johnny's. Johnny's for sure. He's the one that looks most like a fetish. Yeah, I, I still want to make a case for my face. I have a very comable face. I, I think it would come down. I do agree with down you. To both your I think a lot of people see my face and they want to jizz on it. I, nothing against you, the, Johnny. I want to come on yours for sure. It's not a knock. Of the four of us, I frequently think of your face when I come. Yeah, I think well, uh, it's, uh, that's a tough one. That's but a if tough it was one. on Maybe. a jizz rag. But uh, Jason, what if we put both their faces... On a jizz rag. Well, and Johnny, I'll be in the middle on this project, huh? What do you say? <laughs> what do we say? We good cop, bad cop this jizz rag. As long as I'm on the back side. <laughs> oh, oh, Johnny. Yeah, I'm, all right, Johnny. <laughs> that could be tough. That could be tough for all the hungry, hungry hippos up there. The thirsty bottom, Gary, Gary Gren, 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 Grenadine. What's your last name again? I don't want to say it anymore. <laughs> I think it's best. That, for legal reasons, we need Legally, to. I'm stepping away. Call me Jack, goddammit. Hey, dude, tell us a little bit about your Zoom shows you've been doing. I hear they're really awesome. Garrett? Oh, Sam. Oh, that's on Instagram. That is Instagram. Oh, I actually watched a bunch of those. No, yeah, Garrett a lot of is people... very funny. I, I feel like I discovered him and made him and well, as I just said, influenced him. As I said, and this is true, I didn't know what the fuck a podcast was until I met Sam Tripoli. And then, like a motherfucker his, would. and then Sam brought me on the, his show and then allowed <sighs> me to do it all the time. And then, Teeb, you were on for a while. And it was the fucking greatest. It really was. We had so much goddamn fun. Even yeah, if nobody was listening, it was like, it, even if it wasn't being recorded, it was yeah. just the best time. Just laugh. Three bags of weed when you'd sit there. There would just be, it was like living inside of Sam's brain. <laughs> Which, if you live in it, you're like, my God, this is crazy. But he would just have, I mean, like, how I were the numbers like, on that? How were the numbers? I mean, you we guys got over 20 cool? downloads a year, so oh. we're pretty charmed was, by that. It's it okay so there, funny, right? and most no, of no. those were Sam. Well, I mean, like, it, it was weird because I mean, like, how long ago did we do that? Like five years ago? No, and, no longer. No uh, longer now, dude. Yeah, I've been out here four years. It's got to be longer now. Your yeah, kids so, are seven, Sam. So six years probably ago, we were doing that, yeah. and. Maybe even just think about how yeah, different pot. No, I'm not saying how long the show. I mean, like, when did when was the last time we did the show? I, well, it was oh, like probably six, about six years ago. Yeah, six years. You, and I you guys did a went over that. One. You went over that Playboy. You guys were over at that place for a while. Yeah, for a long while. And towards then, the end. and we were saying, and we kept telling Playboy Radio to let us have cameras in the studio because the show was so visually crazy, and they would be like, "No, no, no, that's not how this is going to work." <laughs> And we were just like, put, can, can, please put two fucking cameras in this fucking thing and then put it on, put it on something. And they're like, no, no, no. People want to hear the it. The guy literally so, said to me, if I put cameras in here, everyone in the world's going to watch. And I go, oh, you're here to throw the game. And that's yeah. exactly what happened. You're, but, yeah. but, I mean, we had, we had some crazy moments. We had uh, anal uh, toss. We had um, a, a porn star who um, was afraid of clowns. We that, had, that, yes. And then there was, uh, there, I can't even remember who the fuck. There's, it's all like a blur. Were you there like, when Duncan Trussell got to see his favorite oh, porn Riley star Reed. butthole? Not only was I there, my, but one of my, like, maybe my best friend from Wisconsin was there watching that day. And he was like, this is the greatest show I've Wait, wait. So, wait, this? his favorite porn star is Riley Reed because he had her At on his podcast time. for like a really serious interview a couple months ago. That's hilarious. Wow. Yes. Oh, and yeah, he, yeah, and yeah, Sam, yeah. He loves her. And he Sam, loves her. Sam had hooked it up. And so Riley Reed came in, and then Duncan wasn't there. 
he didn't show so up. Late. And so then he... Sam texts him, are you coming? And then Sam calls him and he's like, dude, you should fucking get here. And then Sam had Riley hide behind the couch. And then when Duncan was there, he's like, I got, I got a friend behind the couch. And he's like, what? And then like Riley Reed's butt just rises first. And he's like, <laughs> oh my God, Riley Reed. He's That's like, so I fucking funny. love you. That's so fun. That's a pretty he's good like, Duncan impression. That was quite he a had, time. He had it on his podcast, but the interview was just he he didn't talk about porn at all. It was like a really he asked her about politics and like her thoughts on world government and stuff. He well, was, that's so funny. That's yeah, it's great. And she's just a savage. Like she's a savage. She and, was great. And like he would have such like weird conversations with me. It's like, what's she like? Like she's kind of like always like she has some serious stuff on her Twitter, and but then she'd be like, I just licked the, the jizz off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I miss now, uh, the good times, man. How did I miss it? all this? Literally, shit? Johnny, you came in cock blocked happiness. Uh, That's when you showed up, everything stopped. Uh, it's no, like you, you showed up. Stopped. You sh it's like in the 50s, like you showed up when we found out cigarettes were bad. <laughs> like, sorry, Johnny, we used to smoke in this room, but unfortunately now we just talk. I guess at some point we just talked to every adult film star and. Why it was did you just, get, do you remember making a decision to stop or was it kind of just a it kind yeah of yeah yeah you know the truth of the matter is is that you know vicky and i kind of just we we'd had enough and it was like she wanted to do her thing and i wanted to do my thing and it was just and i'm gonna be honest with you it was just like i couldn't figure out why nobody would listen to that show i just and it took it for you and and for and for vicky i mean it would take a good amount of work to put this shit together and we just couldn't yeah just people weren't listening i mean well, yeah, we were all like, this is a fucking funny show. A it was the funniest show. shit. So you go back now, and there's a bunch of people who have listened to it because, you know, a bunch of the podcasts that we've been on have blown up. And right, yeah. So people will go back, and you'll see, like, well, that's got a lot of listens now. But back back then, it, it was I got that. hit up about the Roast of Santa. Somebody hit me up the other day, and they're like, dude, I just came across this shit, and they found, like, two of the naughty Roast of Santa. Uh, those were so fucking <laughs> Those funny. were the best. Those were so is, it, is that is that like what it sounds like? Just a roast of Santa Claus? Is that? Well, well no, a bunch Santa of Claus, all the so, people, all of so, us from the Naughty Show, and then Sam would dress as Santa every year. Sam so we would all just roast each other, and then everyone and, would just tee off and, on Sam and, the whole time. Well, and then you just shit on Sam, and he'd go, "Oh no, come on now, stop it!" Like well written, well written. Well written. <laughs> That's, That's what I was saying. Well That's great. You know, yeah, well uh, written. He used to say, oh, like, Sam, "Sam looked like." Uh, looks like you got rented bad Santa's suit and got it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like well the written. early, the early well naughty written. shows That's were the best, dude. Like at the improv when we were doing live ones and Jason oh, yeah, and I would best. come up with <laughs> the one most time outlandish we, shit. <laughs> Jason and I once did a, uh, 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 the whole show was about the production of the shows gotten so expensive. We're going to have to fucking sublet half the stage to pay for the production. Yeah, I was Airbnb in half the stage. So I kept like, you guys gotta keep it down. I'm getting ready for a date. Then the chick came over, my date came over and we were like fucking on the piano under like a sheet while people were doing stand up and shit. Yeah, it was, that was so funny, dude. Uh, it was just because like now I think it would, I think it would blow up. I'm not sure, but I back then it would. It, the it was just ahead of its time. So well, we would we would have like streamed it, like clearly, like put it. I mean, we would have had a. There's a better system. We would have circumvented, yeah, uh, everybody that was was clogging the system. Uh, we would have just circumvented them and went directly to the audience because we knew there was a big audience for that shit. Sounds like you guys what is, like, get this thing kicked off again, huh? Oh, it's I almost, mean, dude, I'm in almost, a different place. Remember when you know, Joe Barton like, got so high we thought he was dead? Oh yeah. god, you remember that? I did take what? him to the hospital. Oh my really? god. Yeah, yeah, we well because we were doing it at, at one point we were doing it in the joint studios and that was like the LA Speedweed guys. And so they would just I mean it was just like hot hey, box the shit out of it. We would just yeah, we'd just smoke weed and just uh -huh. do really whatever the fuck. It you was wanted. like doing a podcast in like uh Cheech and Chong's van. Yeah. And so sometimes people would just come on and be like, ah, I like to smoke weed and like take two hits of a joint sure, and be like, yeah, yeah. that's some really good shit and be like catatonic. Yeah, so you'd be like, oh, and it was shit. so interesting because they were such a, like Gino's such a good guy. Yeah, and like, great it guy. was so like, it, but it was so it was so 
outlaw back then. Like nobody totally. knew what they were doing. It was like Rogan. It was like there were there was a couple nerd podcast channels, and then it was like Death Squad. Yeah, Johnny was listening to that nerd shit, right? You fucking nerd dork. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, dude. I, I I mean I listened to Death Squad from the beginning. Bro. Yeah. Pretty early. Well, I mean like 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 if you look at like who's the who's who of podcasting for the longest time it was everybody that came out of that podcast and corolla so, you know, right i mean he was the other like corolla I mean, uh-huh. kind of kicked yeah. it off marin and, and marin, then yeah. yeah but it was like I look but at that it, was like, kind uh, of yeah it was not a lot it was not a lot it really well, wasn't it's like new york city didn't even like the new york city comics were like fuck podcasts we're not yeah. doing fuck and like la comics were like oh you know we gotta do we gotta do something to survive and uh, can't I do mean, seven like, sets a night can't do seven sets a night but you know it's like even um i remember your co-host uh what's his name dave anthony was talking about like how podcasts had popped up because like there was like, just a lot of people couldn't get anything going on television man so oh yeah they, they needed to create a a way to connect Dude, with the crowd i think about Marin like when i i mean i'm not even trying to sound like he's old or anything but like when i was a kid and comedy central i mean i just would watch comedy central and Marin was a guy that i mean it just see and i would and when i moved to la i would still see like i was just like he has been doing this forever and is so good and yet there's action it was just always kind of baffling and then it was like oh yeah he just completely clicked with something like this you know it's like when galifianakis was in the hangover like everyone knew who he was everyone thought he was really fucking funny and then he just like had you know you just have these things where you're just like boom just fucking connected and uh, i mean even ck was the same way kind of right i mean yeah, he was for around sure. for decades on, for you know, sure yeah half hours and stuff like that and then finally, no had failed and had failed series you know yeah. a few of them yeah lucky mm-hmm. louie even which is a great yep. series great me, i mean i don't know yeah. anything yeah. about yeah. that i won't read the joe schwab and crush do you worry about like shit like that gareth like career-wise because especially sexually on, gareth, on, like, on, on june 5th when you when you tweeted this I hope no comedy clubs ever book me. Also, fuck midget. They, they, they like to be called. No, the, the, that is not a term. It's little person. <laughs> fuck midgets. What are you little talking person. about? Little person. No, I never <laughs> said. They get these oh, handwritten. Man. Handwritten in your words. <laughs> no. Explain that. Twitter. I wait, wait, don't wait. wait. Is that, that one had your signature on it, though, didn't it? Gareth, yeah, exactly. I, if you look at the bottom, I think it's got his what signature mean, on it. What do you mean? Did, he took. At, you, he, Jason is signing Gareth. right now. I know. I, I saw it. How can I sign while I'm looking oh, right now? Nobody could do it that fast. You weren't looking. Gareth, yeah, there it is. I've, I've never seen, seen your name. signature, Gareth. Your I've signature. never seen your signature, insane. but that looks like your it signature. It looks like a Trust bunch of yarn me. tied together. It's not my yeah, yeah, because I couldn't look. And that's how you described you your just, signature last week. To Sam, me. He like just it looks said, like a bunch of Sam, yarn. He just said, because I couldn't look. He didn't mean to say that. I was talking to somebody else. What the fuck is happening? Is this a show anymore? I was talking to somebody else. <laughs> These are our oh. biggest ratings yet. Yeah, you're getting immediate ratings? <laughs> yes. well, it's hard oh, to get yeah. ratings when you keep tweeting stuff like that. I didn't tweet that, and that was on June 5th in your hypothetical lie town. <laughs> you hope no comedy clubs ever book you, huh? Dude, he's yeah, I also don't spell wine. comedy clubs with a K. You spell it with three Ks. Not <laughs> not, you know what? I can't. Gareth, this is the segment I call Get to Know Wait, Art. I didn't even notice that until <laughs> till now. Sam, we did this segment. A few times. No, that's new to <laughs> KK Club. During what COVID, Gareth, how many condoms are you wearing each time you have sex? Oh, man. I've not. Uh, and this, guys, this is real talk. I've okay. not fucked in so long that I just wear them now. I wear them around the house. Because then it always feels like I am in something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not a woman, but some with you on that. Hey, I don't even remember what it feels like. Where I live, maybe it is a woman. I don't know. Dude, you remember that bit where you were like, man, Asians look so much like aliens. You're what thinking the fuck? of what, another what, comic. What, what, what was that You're with that You're thinking of another comedian. <laughs> You're not thinking of me. You remember that, Garrett? When you no, I don't close remember that. that. No. Close on that? Like, that doesn't sound like a, something I would they open, like... middle, or close with. No. It's invented. <laughs> Christ, Sam, you Sam, you've been laying down the whole show. Yeah, man. When you start making the big bucks, you can sleep 
in bed and pop. Do you have one of those beds that uh, goes to your body temperature and that you can pull up and down like a hospital bed? And throws you handies, yes. Yeah, and then has a little hand that comes out, and if you're like, finish the job, <laughs> it does. He yells, finish him, right? Is that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you completion, <laughs> Sam, and then you just look down at your penis and you go, finish him. And then it just goes like, finish <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, God. Rips it off of you. Oh, my God. No, bad hand. <laughs> broken, broken, yeah. Broken, broken hand. <laughs> I'd like to return this bed. It yanked my dick off. Cam Newton looks pretty good, huh? I don't know. Yeah, he looks great. I don't know, dude. It's just like they're talking about. I mean, like. Did you guys watch the game? Like, the, any of the New yeah. England, Seattle games? I watched some I of it, but not I a did. lot They of were it. into it. I just thought that last play was poorly executed. I mean, yeah. just. It, yeah, he should have popped it outside. Probably. I think Cam looks good. Yeah, I, I do think too. he looks fine. I looks just think smooth. it's like, it's like, who was it talking? Whitlock was talking about that. He's just like, it, the problem if you run him so much, by the end of the season, yeah. he gets dinged and he can't finish. So it's like, by the way, <laughs> that's like McDaniel's with Tebow. <laughs> that's what he had to do essentially was like run him all. Like you don't have to do that with Cam. Not saying like he's like the best or most accurate thrower. But clearly the dude is a much – I mean, he's a fucking offensive yeah. weapon still. Infinitely better than T-Bone. Yeah, infinitely better. So you, sh- you should not – I think, yeah, I think you don't need – like, I'm, I, I know it's fourth and one, but I bet you can come up with a better play than something you've I mean, already like, run. I mean, don't even and... – because they expect you to do that. Yeah. Yes, Throw especially something... if you scored on it already in the game. It seems yeah. unbilicekian to do – And seeing – yeah, that – it's so funny because isn't that what the Seahawks should have done to the Patriots and yeah, run yeah. the ball in With the March on Lynch, Super Bowl? Yeah. yeah. I expected them to do that little dump pass, you know, the one where they kind of pull it out and then just dump it over the top. That's, that's Yeah, I don't like know why do you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Spread everybody out, man. Yeah. I mean, but when you well, line yeah, cause, up like Because then you really get two plays. If nobody's open, Cam can still uh, try, try yeah, to – Yeah, it's kind of like – Yeah, that's audit, what yeah. I'm saying. Just yeah. spread out everybody. So that's – But I do think it. they'll get better. I think that I might – I mean, again, like, if you're in the – I mean, the pay, like, they, the luxury of being in that division is well, every year. Well, I mean, the uh, Buffalo's uh, That good. is true. Buffalo's good. Yeah, Buffalo but not, not always the last 50 how many, years. I, yeah, I was just – I mean, how many times at the beginning of the season have you said, yeah. like, Buffalo actually looks good this year? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think I last year, Buff- last year Buffalo was good, and this year they'll be good. I feel bad for Sam Donaldson. I mean, like that, the, the Jets look just like they Sam can't Darnold? catch a brick. Yeah, yeah, Sam, Sam Donaldson. Donaldson is a former <laughs> White House reporter. He was News the guy man, with the yeah. weird hair. I, he'd be I like, feel bad for him, like too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you feel like, bad. Yeah, I yeah feel he would bad be like, that's right. I talked to him earlier today. They were very rude to me. But here we are with my report from earlier. And like, pussy, and like pussy eyebrows, yeah. And when was the last time your eyes were open or closed? What's happening over there? He was like, I haven't opened my eye. I'm a mole man. Yeah, he looks like he just ate like nine edibles. I have had a bunch <laughs> of edibles. I'm at the White House. My hair's been sprayed on. I don't <laughs> think this is real. What am I talking into? <laughs> uh, but the Jets, because I, I like Donaldson, but. Darnold. Uh, Darnold. Darnold, whatever his name I'm is. I'm now the quarterback no, it's not the New York Jets. Is. Here yeah, I am. Sorry. I don't want to throw to. Blue 31. Uh, like blue 31. Sports. Get ready, boys. Throw me the ball. Snap it, I Jets. Mean, don't any of you college touch me. That's right. Two-hand touch. Oh, mm. another tackle. <laughs> Bell seems shot. And it's yeah. just like, you just, this kid can't catch a break. And it's like, look what happened to, uh, who's the kid out of UCLA that's not like on the practice squad for Tampa? Rosen. I mean, Oh, like, how quickly oh, the yeah. mighty – you get, like – Yeah, but by the way, I mean, when you think back, on, like, if you're Rosen, I mean, talk about fucking money. Or, or uh, what's, the, what's the other one who um... – Baker Mayfield? No, I mean, I, I don't believe – I don't buy Mayfield either, but uh, – yeah. no, I can't remember his fucking name. But, what, but yeah, like, there are, there are these – What year? Uh, a few years ago, he uh, – Where do you go? Oh, Johnny Manziel. No, no, it's, I'm going to be annoying about it. I think he played in Tampa. It's like he, he, was, in the, he was on the Bears a couple years ago. <laughs> You're not talking about the last name begins with a G, I think. You're I not talking remember. about Jay Cutler, are you? No, no. Oh, um, the, the guy that was in the, for Jacksonville, uh, what's his name? Uh, no, no, not from, Bortles or something like that. No, not, uh, what was the guy from Jacksonville that really sucked? Uh, the, he could that's run everyone. a little bit. Uh, I think he went to Missouri. Oh. No, 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 this no, guy. Yeah. I can't, oh, 
fuck, I'm so close to remembering his name. Doesn't matter. But but where they just rack up a shit like, oh, you're thinking of now I know who you're thinking of, and I can't <laughs> remember who you're thinking either. of. He was with the Rams and the Eagles, the guy you're thinking of. Yeah. And his name is Sam, Sam Bradford. Um, no, uh, that's who you're thinking of? No, I'm no, not thinking of. No. I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah. like, this is so, the, of all the segments we've done. Sam, I, I will be honest. No, it was the man. guy that was, they were debating. It was Cam's year. It was him or Cam Newton. The, 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 the oh, Gilbert, 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 Gilbert. Gilbert, what's that? Welcome to the new Gilbert segment. Sam, you should be thankful I did this because it does make all your other segments that were dog shit seem good. <laughs> <laughs> Segments like what you tweeted on July Jason, 35th. July 35th. I Blaine never want to work in Hollywood. Gabbard. Gabbard, yeah. Also, I'm 100% Gareth. I would oh. just not write that at the end of a tweet. And again, it's handwritten on a note card like all the other ones. Looks July pretty authentic to me. Exist. Thank well, you, you're an idiot. Sam, who's the only one that gets it. It Blaine looks Gabbard almost like when they do... That's not when it. they oh, do uh, our meet tweets on who are, Jimmy, wait, Jimmy well, how many years ago? Because I got all the quarterbacks drafted here. This I, I, is we bugging can't me keep now. Doing too. this, Johnny. It's like Gillette or something like that is his last name. I can't remember. Geppetto. That's the one. He's a wooden boy. <laughs> I mean, you got James Winston, Marcus Mariota, Blake Bortles, um, Johnny Manziel. Either way, they just make who? so much fucking. The money. guy who likes crab legs. Geno Smith. Winston. Mike no. Glennon. EJ. Manuel. Glennon. Glennon. That's what it was. Glennon. Yep. Mike Glennon. Mike Glennon. It start with a G. Yep. Yep. Man, That's even awesome. if you nailed that at the beginning, it still but would not have paid, paid off. But these are like, do, remember? Oh, uh, he got a huge Kevin, deal. Remember Kevin called? He got that oh, huge yeah, deal sure. to back up. I remember Kevin called. Uh, yes, he huge ended up backing deals. up Trubisky. They gave huge, him a huge deal, yes. and then they drafted Trubisky right over the top of him. Yes. And yeah. they, but, they, I mean, that's classic Bears. But I almost would rather be one of those guys just, like, now in the practice squad. Like, fuck it. Yeah, you guys want to go on the yacht for the weekend? We're not playing next week. Well, like, Doug Peterson was Favre's backup for, what, a decade Forever. or something. Forever. Yeah, just yes. cash and money. Yes. Cash and Hasselback, too. My, Matt Hasselback, yeah. like, backed him up for, like, seven years. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Tim Hasselbeck, another guy who was the career Dude, backup. We should do a podcast money. just about backup quarterback uh, and just be, like, break everybody The backup down, like, quarter cast? Yeah, there we go. Like, what was that guy Chase? That like he's now Chase making Daniels. Chase Daniels. Chase Daniels, yeah. Twenty mil so far from all the backing up he's done. Twenty yeah, mil. That's crazy. It's the best. I would love that. We should make a show called The Backup. Yeah, and we just, just and we just play that backup be. sound effect. Beep 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 beep. Hey Every guys, the network start. has a note about the music. They it want some. nine minutes long. <laughs> yeah, they think nine minutes is too long. A lot of, lot of backup. No, but backing oh, up. He's noises. a backup. <laughs> and when he walks backwards, which he does most of his life, it beeps. This is not the show we bought. <laughs> it's the show you're getting, fuckheads. Oh, uh, sometimes we get a shit. I'd like you to explain this. And if you tell uh -huh. me this wasn't on Twitter, you're not. <laughs> so, first of all, at the top of, the, again, the note card. It says tweet. It yep. starts with clearly a Twitter. Fart burps, and I also burp farts, and also it's August forty second. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut that. What's out. wrong with you, bro? <laughs> What's your deal, know. man? You lost I, your marbles on Twitter. No, I never said any of these things. What game yeah, do you have on in the background, team? Are you watching the game still? Yeah, I like to bet on games that already happened. I'm in the hole. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I'm really speaking, losing a lot of money. Speaking of betting, winning season returns at my bookie. Winning season means doubling your first deposit. What else does winning season mean? It means insane props, epic bonuses, and the craziest cross-board wagers. At my bookie, winning season means watching live sports and betting live sports all season long. Rejoice. The NFL has returned. That means action-packed Sundays and huge cash prizes. Get in on the action. Use promo code PUNCHDRUNK. That's one word, PUNCHDRUNK. Pretty easy. And double your first deposit. New players get up to 1000 Listen to this. New, new players get up to $1,000 in free play designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet. Bet with the best this NFL season for your chance to win big. Use Como, promo code Whoa, punch, drunk, drunk. punch Drunk, one word, and double your first deposit. I want to use a Cuomo code. <laughs> Up to a thousand bucks. The Cuomo code is Fredo. <laughs> Mario Cuomo. Your, yeah, winning promo code is your winning season begins today only it, at my bookie. 
Yeah, thanks, my bookie. Guys, Here's what I want to do: thousand dollars. dot com or mybookie.ag. Real AC. quick, either one. Yeah, dude, place. you AC. set my bookie and pay. Put a lot of money on the Raiders. Going deep. They look waiting really it good. Off. We were talking about that before you got on. They looked really good. Who do you play this week, Sam? Raiders. Uh, New England. That's gonna be a good game. I, yeah, I would not sleep on the Raiders in that game. Dude, I, I was supposed to be at that game. I was supposed to be at that game. Isn't it at New England? No, I mean the game that just the Vegas passed. Opener. Oh, the same yeah. time. I, 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 I tell you, I watched it. It looks like there were seats available. There was like nobody <laughs> there. <laughs> I know. Nobody hey, guys, to this is my new segment in the middle of Punch Drunk. It's called Gareth Time. And this is where I kind of get to make it. my own jokes and have a little bit of fun. And Go this week it. I'm taking a little fun with COVID and sports because there's not a lot of fans there. So when I'm saying, hey, I noticed there was no one there, I'm having a little bit of fun. All right. This has been Gareth's time. We're brought to you by uh, that bookie site and use the Cuomo code Fredo. New England. New England. <laughs> New England's favorite by six. New what? England's favorite by six in that game. That seems like a lot, right? I Are we in New there. England? Yeah. It's got to yeah. be in yeah. New, New England. England. Yeah, yeah, it is. Example. Still, six seems like a lot. But home field means well. nothing. That's what's yeah, so amazing about the basketball playoffs. It's well, like, I don't agree with that. Home field means sleeping in your own beds and not having to Okay, may, maybe in the NFL a little bit more. But whenever you, I watch the NBA, I'm like – Oh, the NBA means nothing. The home court thing. I mean, being in one seed this year in the playoffs is like no, – That's why the, it was so did bad for the Did you see box. this, Gareth and Sammy and Johnny? Did you guys see this, that – Okay, you know how there's somebody in the NFL and in the NBA too, but and baseball – that's playing the crowd noises that you can hear it when you're on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is the best. Philadelphia. Oh, I know what you're talking typical about. Typical Philadelphia so funny. started booing their own quarterback <laughs> after 3 3 and outs. Wow. Yeah. And you know, the, the players looked at each other and they're like, hey, <laughs> it's not so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're still here. <laughs> it's like nothing's so changed. Funny. Hey, so they have so a ro- funny. Actually, in Philly, they have a robot that throws batteries at the players. <laughs> I was going to say. A cardboard cutout of Santa Claus got hit with yeah, snowballs. What do you they think were, about that cardboard snowballs? I mean, it's Ooh. not looking good for Cards us. Went? Yeah. Yeah, man. I Well, okay. Ahmed, I mean, not to say that it's all psychological, because I think he's gotten banged up and maybe – I mean, he's pretty good. He's looked I pretty think, good I think times. you're right. The injuries have but, taken a toll on that guy. But the, also the Foles thing, that's a very hard – Thing to have to be on the bench for to yeah. watch Nick Foles beat the fucking Patriots, and then I mean that's a mon- like that's like Steve Young, but as a starter, like I mean it's just it's a monkey on your back the whole fucking time. There has to be some sort of thinking there where he's like fuck because he is a better quarterback than Nick Foles. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah but can't win a Super. Bowl. Well, there was a time there. There, there was a far. stretch that stretch at the beginning, beginning of the season before, when he was playing. He yeah. Was- yeah, before he looked before like Mahomes. He got hurt. I mean, he yeah, looked great, totally. Man. He looked amazing. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. What he team do you, do you know? I feel bad for is the Jags because they're trying to shit the bed and they won one. And there's some teams that they look okay. Don't look good. I think they might be good. I yeah, think they, they look might. okay, man. Minshew, I think I liked Minshew right away. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I know, but every like, dude, do you think like the Giants are like, okay, we got a quarterback, but. Trevor Lawrence. Do they have their quarterback, time. though? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's, that's the whole question, do they? And, I, I mean, they don't look good, dude. No. They don't look good at all. And do you, do you see them winning? Do you see, like, Jets no. winning? Like, who wins? Like, I well, mean, the Jets, gets... any team that Adam Gase has the keys to the franchise for, I do not believe in. Like, he's almost like the Dan Snyder of coaches where I'm like, like when they when the Redskins draft or when the Washington football team drafted um thank you thank you Robert you're welcome Robert Griffin the 3rd I was like he seems like a great player here's the flag Dan Snyder is in love with him yeah yeah really like that to me is a flag and that's the same it's with like Jordan. Adam it's Gates. Jordan and and NBA drafts I, yeah. he, Jordan is the reason the the Hornets turned down four first round picks from Boston to take Frank Kaminsky yeah Boston but, I mean to move up to take Justice Winslow but, I mean, we all know how great things went for Kaminsky. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's why you say the name and we all go, I know yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sam is the hat off? Yeah. Sam, lose the shirt, too. No, I oh, will not. See the goods. You, got a, you got the mohawk still, Sam? Let's see. Barely, dude. It's not looking good. Nothing's looking good. I'm breaking down. Uh, guys, I got a jam, dude. I got babies. Well, I Sam, we want to thank you for coming Please on the show. Sammy. We really appreciate it. We're going to um, go through a couple more of Gary's tweets here. Uh, okay. Well, and I Sam, mean, like, you got anything to plug? And then, 
Sam, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, all, you're on, what's it called? CW. 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 With the show called CW. Revisited? It's called Mysteries Decoded. Decoded. Yeah, so real quick, guys, uh, Dodgers. I mean, we're getting the season's almost over. Can you believe that? Cubs uh, made the postseason. Obviously, his uh, reason for leaving was made up because he remembered that he wanted to talk about the Dodgers. And that yeah, was it was very that. amazing what happened. <laughs> Professionally done. Uh, I want to get into a quick parlay, a couple things, and we can wrap up. But I just do a, one last tweet I want to. You got a UFC about. too, right, Jay? Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Okay, here's the last tweet. And again, okay, let me just let, let me just preface this by saying we've heard yeah, sure. insane shit. Now I'm not talking to you right now, Jason. I'm talking to the people who are listening. Uh, okay. But we've we've heard some insane shit. This last one, from what I can see, is bananas. And again, it's written on a note card by hand. What's that? Okay. And you're gonna hear it's gonna be very meta this tweet, and I'm air quoting again. So the sure. date at the top is Bloom Tober 9th. Is that a thing? Right off the bat. What does that mean, Gareth? Yeah. No, 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 Johnny. I don't know because I'm not the lunatic who keeps writing these fucking things well, on note cards. I wait, don't know what, all the months. Wait, now that sounds going? like some kind of – no. so you have like some kind of split personality thing going on. Is that what you're saying? Uh, listen, this is not tinfoil. Stop it. Okay? Then I write, and I, again, I'm air quoting, I write. Then Teeb wrote, I should say. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a Here minute. Here we go. Bloom, Tober, Nice. Said this I tweet – this tweet was Busted. not written by hand. It was tweeted by me. Uh -huh. Gareth with a U. Again, no. Raymond, not my name. That's Anyways, right. with a Z that has the line through it, which we all hate. Ellipses, fuck America. So Why would you I say that? Why I would didn't you say, say it. I didn't say any of it. On Bloomtober night. Well, when is Bloomtober? I don't know all the months. I'm not going to lie. Well, that's a problem for this conversation. But... That doesn't take away the fact that you tweeted some outlandish stuff recently. No, no. Yeah. No. Seems pretty weird. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> uh, here's my parlay if you want to go to mybookie.com. I'm interested or, here. Or AG. And, or AG. And use the code PUNCHDRUNK. And that'll get you double whatever you put in. You up to a thousand bucks. You put in a thousand bucks. Guess what? I'm not good at numbers, but that's five grand. Um, so here's what I like. I like uh, the Rams versus Bills. And I actually like the Rams solely based on their defense in this game. I like the Cardinals over the Lions. And I'm starting to believe in the Cardinals, and I'm starting to yep. believe in this quarterback. Yep. He looks good. Yeah, he looks really good. I like Seattle over Dallas. Yep. I like the Ravens to beat the Chiefs. Yes. And I know really? I'm going to get oh, no. Yeah, I do. Chiefs looked like shit for a lot of that last game. They sure did. And the What's Ravens the line just, in that game? What's the line? The Ravens are just benching motherfuckers. The Ravens have a very luxurious problem, which is how much playing time should our starters get? I, they got, they're stacked at running back, too, not to mention the quarterback <laughs> who's a running back. Well, they're stacked. And they're stacked to tight end. Their defense is ridiculous. Baltimore. Can you imagine? Baltimore's favored by three and a half in that game. I was going to say about four. Can you imagine if the Ravens had like a Julio Jones or a DeAndre uh, Hopkins or a game changer? A, just yeah. a lights out wide receiver? I mean, Hollywood Brown's okay, but he's also a second year guy who someone's got to catch those balls. By the way, that Hopkins trade looks like a piece of shit right now, doesn't it? I mean, oh what, my God! What a terrible. Just well, but also away. it was also like uh, Texans fans were like get fired up about it before the season. When that trade happened, everyone was like, "Like, what is like Bill O'Brien must work for another team." Yeah. The GM head coach thing never works. When you're uh, both in Belichick, it's, Belichick, Belichick yeah. yeah, and that's it. Right? Yeah, that. Might be. And is Jimmy he the Johnson, GM? Maybe it was Jimmy Johnson GM for a while. Jimmy Johnson was GM. No, I think he was. No, Jimmy Johnson was GM in Miami. That's Billy, the only oh, guy. Right. I don't yeah. think Belichick was the GM. I, I mean, Belichick, Belichick makes all the drafting decisions. I even if there's someone in place who is. Yeah, I, yeah. Belichick is the GM, right? I think he is the GM as well. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, pretty, how could you even be? Work. Even if you were a GM with the the yeah, Patriots, is, yeah. it's like. You would be neutered. They'd be like, oh, listen yeah. to Bill. It'd be, point It'd be like being Parcells, GM. But yeah, I think that might be the only one. My last one on this parlay, and I know you're going to give me shit for it, but I really do believe in this. I'm not just being a fan. I think I, I like the Falcons over the Bears. 
I agree. I don't think that's crazy. The Falcons looked really good for a lot of that game. And I it's think the Atlanta, Bears, the Bears and, did not look good. And again, I, I always think about, you always have to think about like mentality of the team. What are yeah. they coming off of? Are they getting yeah. soft because they believe in themselves too much? Or are they 0-2 and, and have talent and are fucking furious? Yeah, See, I feel like the Bears have squeaked way, out two wins. I think the Bears have squeaked out two wins. I don't think the Bears wins. are as good as their record See, to me, all. though, that works the other way, too, with Atlanta. I mean, there's, they, at some point, you got to start thinking, like, are we, when does like, a finger oh, pointing start? Yeah, are we cursed? Like, what the fuck is happening to this well, team? Why does this? I happen? mean, I've I've thought that um, De, uh, what's your what's your GM's name? Dimitri, what's his name? Who? Your GM? Uh, Thomas Dimitrov. Who you Thomas was? Thomas Dimitrov. He was also at uh, New England. I've liked him. I think he's really good. I do too. There's tons of talent on that team. Atlanta's Every... favored by three in that game. That's crazy. What? Yeah, two and zero. Oh. Uh, Bears. It's in, it's in Atlanta. It's in Atlanta. But there's nobody there. Yeah, yeah it's not you're like you're doing that field. long flight, East Coast, West Coast thing. It's I know, even. but still. That's what I think about uh, Hero, the guy on the Heat who's playing lights out, the 20-year-old. He had 37 today. Dude, he was the best Holy player shit. in the game tonight. Yeah. And But I do think there's something to the idea that, like, he doesn't have to play in front of opposing fans for the playoffs. Yep. Like, that's such a confidence booster – just in general, you're playing – like half of the people who are watching the game want you to win. I think no it's going to that way in baseball too, in the playoffs in baseball, man. Yeah. Because they're going to do the same sort yeah. of thing, a bubble. So I think, but I think it relieves you of some stress if you're – I mean, I can't imagine – I mean, look, I'm sure he's really good. But 37 in a playoff game against the Celtics as a rookie is pretty it's fucking like, nuts. It's unreal, yeah. It's unreal. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, we're I seeing- like all your picks. I agree with all of your picks. And I, I, I'm rooting for you. I hope you guys win. I, obviously, I, would I like think we will. If I were to, and I, and I never, I never bet on my team, but if I, I were to bet, I would, I would say I would take the pack. Why is it that you think your running back doesn't get the respect he deserves? I think I, he gets the respect he deserves. Do you? Yes, I do. He's about to get a huge contract. Mm-hmm. Um, the truth is this. McCarthy had Aaron Jones on his roster for I think two years, maybe even a fantasy team, more. and he killed me, dude. Like, and McCarthy played not, his man. McCarthy would not yeah. run him. He would not play would him. Not. He would not run him. He'd rather and have it, Montgomery running the ball. Oh, that was the worst. And he and so so Aaron Jones would be like he would like after McCarthy got fired, you'd look back and you go, this dude had eight yards of carry the whole yeah. seat. Like, what the fuck? So now I think he finally is getting that respect. I think the Packers are going to pay him because he's fucking awesome. Rodgers looks amazing, huh? Rodgers looks fucking he's great. Yeah. And I also love that Aaron Jones puts on gold sunglasses after he scores. <laughs> I could imagine I an opposing team, he'd be like, fuck that guy. But I fucking love it. What do you, do you, are you a Devontae Adams believer? You, yes, majorly. Yeah, I've watched Devontae Adams change too many games to. I believe in him as well. Yes, I think he is. I think he, I would go as far as to say he's underrated. He's just kind of uh, disappointed me in fantasy a couple of times. So I... Maybe, but man, he, I mean, he had one, his first game this season was insanity. Who do you guys have at tight end this year? We have a lot of young people. We, I mean, well, we actually have Mercedes Lewis. Uh, who's oh, our he vet. ain't young. He's not young. We have he's him okay. as a vet. And then we just have young guys. But, you know, like guys, I mean, a lot of drops last game from our tight ends. But, um, yeah, they I think they will get better and our younger receivers look good. But again, that's what I thought found so funny about everyone who's criticizing the Packers draft, which I, I guess was a little bit wonky for sure. But eventually best- you're gonna have to get a quarterback. And if the guy falls into we'll your lap that you like. Oh yeah. Well that's how we got Rogers. You know, I mean that's, that's how exactly Rogers how you, that's, that's why he can't point. get pissed. But I definitely think that a quarterback Loves a wide receiver, obviously, but you get a good running game. I mean, you can hang back in the fucking pocket and just yeah. pick teams apart if they respect the run. The Packers yeah. haven't had that since Aaron Jones. I can't remember. Like, Dorsey Levens, maybe. Seriously. It's been a long Dorsey time. Dorsey Levens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who was that? You had a running back that had an E in his last name or first name. Um, what, what, what is this, a cold reading? What, what do you, yeah, that, uh, that feels I'm like how John it. Edwards controls yeah. those psychic readings. I'm, I'm e, why is that for? E. Uh, yeah, what is you that? You had a I running back with an E? <laughs> Who's that again? You've lost somebody you love. Uh, we had Eddie Lacy. Else. Lacy, that's what I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. and Eddie he Lacey. was a bust. For, for, he got for fat, him. right? That was he. Yeah, Eddie Lacy got too fat. I think fat. his weight was, I hate to say his weight was embellished, but 
a little, but then oh, really? yes, he just, I mean, a little bit. There was a picture that went viral where it was like a weird yeah, thing. <laughs> <laughs> but was it was terrible. like every friend yeah. of mine was like, ooh, this is not good. And I was like, he'll be fine. We want him beefy. Yeah, that doesn't, when does that ever work out? Like uh, those guys uh, are kind of borderline. Well, it's like fat. two or three years where you're like, we got a thunder. And it's like, look, thunder ain't going to fucking, the uh, thunder doesn't last that long. It doesn't work. No. What's nah, the TJ, well, remember TJ I mean, Duckett? TJ oh, yeah. Duckett yeah, yeah, would take yeah. that. Yeah. Right. We have work done in TJ Duckett. TJ Duckett. They're like, Thunder and Lightning. And how about like, this? You know, I'll fat say guy one. and a fast guy? How about oh, Mike... fatty and fasty? Who you got? That's, That's what they mean to say. Mike Allstock. Yeah, Allstock, he's... Yeah. But, Stocky yeah. fucker. He's, he's white, though, so... Oh, I don't see people like that, Johnny, but I guess you see... Gareth, right. you should go I hated to... Mike Allstock, by the way. I did, too. I hated him. I hated Mike Allstock. Kill, there was man. also a guy like that, Ra Tom Rathman was another one like that. Oh, I don't remember him. Right, no. it was the Mike Allstadt of the Niners. I don't. And he was him. a bitch. I think he was number forty-four, but he was a bitch on, on uh, playing Madden. Somebody would always just, like full back one yard. Tolbert, Mike oh, Tolbert. see, that's how you know okay. him. I, Mike Tolbert's uh -huh. bad. He's, he's a Madden guy. A Madden guy. That yeah, I Tolbert. Hated. Yeah. Yep, Tolbert. It was okay. Gareth, you should go to. Um, to my bookie and make some bets because apparently you're you're i was looking at some of your tweets looks like you're really really in the need of money well, what are you talking you just, about you just seem desperate you, for money dude we're, you said the last one was the last one this stuff oh i just okay, this one this one again the r's are all backwards the g's what? are backwards well that's because you're illiterate obviously it's not a, it's not something you i mean it would take you would have to hit like shift and another button to do this on twitter but again this is not on twitter this is on a fucking note card yeah just but you written. probably i bet it. you if i ran my finger oh, over oh, it, oh, it oh, would so you, be oh, Gareth, so you're, you're a twitter expert now is that what you, yeah okay. johnny you know, you i know think how twitter I, works. johnny i think hey, hey, elon musk tweets over here yeah Jesus. really i mean come on what, uh, a, what a, a, makes like absolutely asshole. no sense so anyway, this real this real tweet, as it says in the first part, this is a real tweet! Exclamation point. Uh huh. Can't lie. That's clear. Eat, uh, eat out my girlfriend, which is a term I'm not gonna say. Eat out my girlfriend for cash. DM me, yo. So this is just. What not, are you talking I'm not about? With all that. So I don't well, even. Obviously know. not. Hey, hey, I would hey, dump hey, you if you tweeted that about me Garrett, too. Garrett, just stay on. After we stop recording, stay on for a minute, and we'll we'll see if we can get. Johnny, I'm gonna hang up as soon. As you guys say, this is over. I'm going to. I'm gonna. Actually, I already have the first leave hit. I'll I'm just waiting to hit the leave meeting. I'm. That's I'm an expert in my zoom. first rodeo. Yeah. That's somebody who knows how to zoom. Yeah. There's nothing. Uh, that's how you slam down the zoom phone. There's nothing more awkward than like when a podcast ends. All right, yeah, guys, thanks for having me. Okay. Yeah. See you later. Thanks so uh, much. Where's the button? Oh, All right, we'll yeah. see you later. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right. Hey, hey honey, doing shit? that was dog yeah. shit. Do we have chicken? Oh shit! I didn't hit the leave meeting. There's two buttons. <laughs> Honey, no one wants to eat you out for cat. Oh, shit. Oh, good Lord. Now they know I have a wife and I did tweet. Oh, shit. I didn't hit it twice. See, I told you, you tweet, man, you've been tweeting some outlandish stuff. I'm not. Yeah, all right. I'll fess up. I got a little aggressive on my note cards that you wrote for sure. That's weird because I don't even own a pen. Well, that's a thing that I think I could disprove by watching this footage back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a thing I could easily get to. <laughs> Gareth, do you care about the UFC? Are you a UFC guy at all? I know we've seen some fights together in bars and whatnot. Yeah, but I, I really don't. I, I don't mind being around for the fights and say I don't really watch it on my own, though, no. Yeah, there's a great one this Saturday. This Saturday is a real humdinger. What's this one? This guy, Paulo Costa, who is really oh, I have actually like a, heard of this one. A yeah. Rocky movie. I mean, this guy is so jacked and big, undefeated, just knocking everybody out left and right. He's humongous. And he's fighting a guy, uh, Israel Adesanya, who's the champ, also undefeated. But when you look at their body types, they do not look like they're in the same weight class. They're, Johnny, pull up a picture of these two. Got oh, Adesanya, I think, is significantly taller than him. Lemon party, lemon party, lemon party. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. You How many times did you Adam? get people with that? I love Adam. Adam. How is Adam? Yeah, so he's great. And remember, we partied so hard in Vegas together. Oh, that was just the greatest time. That was a um, wild one. He, he was, was just getting one. divorced, and I was like, "Why don't you come to Vegas with me for a live naughty show?" <laughs> yeah, we'll stay at the Hard Rock. We'll share a room, and Sam hooked it up. It was amazing. But um, uh, wait, I forgot what the fuck we were saying. We Adam. were talking about a uh, lemon party. <laughs> oh yeah. So he, I used to when I lived with him, I would before I had a computer, I would use his computer, 
and I would change his uh, home screen to Lemon Party so oh, often. No. And, and, and I remember every time I'd do it, I'd hear the computer sound. You know, he would, he would shut off his computer every night. So I'd just hear oh. the door closed in his room. Boom. And yeah. then it'd be like nine seconds. And yeah. then he'd go, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. The best. Offended. Uh, oh, yeah. The uh, best. That Lemon Party thing. I boomerang that thing around so much. And you know man. what's funny is how popular that – that black guy with a gigantic dick that died. Yeah, that guy had a that big ear for someone who he died. Really he really did. Sick. Yeah. I mean, imagine being related to him. You'd be like, I'm conflicted about this fame. I know. There were so many good memes going on with that guy. So Look who at would these you, two. Who would you pick in this? I mean, I was, I was saying today that if you, I want Israel Adesanya to win. I, I'm a fan right. of his. That's a region advantage, like, right? Yeah, and striking a bit. Well, I mean, yeah, reach wise, he has an advantage but, in every way but weight, right? Yeah, and strength, and probably striking. But man, I'm telling you, if this guy clocks him, and he's like, "I'm going to break his skinny ribs," that's what he keeps saying. <laughs> I punch him in his skinny body. Like I like Burns. how that guy's skinny to him. Costa, he's skinny. I know, I know. And then Israel Adesanya called him a f- broke ass Ricky Martin. <laughs> oh shit, that's a good. That's, one. That, that's I thought that was deep. good. Anytime that's you get compared deep. to Ricky Martin, you're losing. <laughs> but so that's going to be a real humdinger. So yeah, go to um, my bookie and make a make a bet on the fight. There's a couple other good fights in there, but that is the fight uh, on the card that I'm most looking forward to. I'm rooting for Adesanya, but if you handed me five hundred bucks and you go, hey, go to mybookie.com or AG and make this bet, and you have to put it all on one fighter, I would be like... Why would somebody do that? Why does Gareth tweet what he tweets? I don't know what's going on in the world. Why is it COVID? Wait, what? I don't like that that's on the list of questions. Why did I tweet what I tweet, followed by how's COVID come about? (laughs) This seems like a crazy list of questions. Well, there's a crazy time in the world, is all I'm saying, Gary. You're saying a lot more, though, and it's Gareth. Eh, eh, Well... Clear, such he's a got a lot of negative stuff to say about our podcast. Have you noticed that? Like, he's really I, look, Sam out. left. Sam's on the show and isn't here. Sam's never on the show. You now have officially done this show more than Sam has since the pandemic started. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Uh, you know what's so funny is Sam makes his roll and he goes, "Hey," and and like right before the pandemic and all that, I, I hadn't done like maybe if we did like five, maybe if we did like six patrons i only was able to do like two of them so sam goes that's it new rule if you don't do two patrons a month you don't get paid for it you have to do at least two and you were he's, like he's done one since april oh my god <laughs> actually he was there last week too for about 10 minutes so oh, that so wasn't a patron though so he pops yeah, was, in yeah. he's sort of like the kramer of punch drunk yeah, he flies in, gets an applause break, talks yeah. about the good old days. Yeah, we, just we watch a quick. couple of his old videos on yeah. YouTube. And he's like, and then he's out. Keep it, keep it, keep it. And then he leaves. And then he's like, oh, I slammed the door weird. Uh, Got to go. My baby's trying to. And when he is on the show, cleaner. yeah, his babies honestly just cry the whole time. Well, have it's you so heard bad. the theory that Sam doesn't actually have children? He just has a sound effect machine to get off podcasts? <laughs> that would be pretty dope. That's what I heard. I you heard Sam rented sister. two babies and did a photo shoot and then brought in two two-year-olds, did a photo. So he's got Instagram covered until these kids are supposed it's to like, be 10. It's like that episode of Curb when he finds out his mother died like a year after she died, you know, and he just uses it to get out of everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, my sister's month. been working a lot from home. In, in She's still out in L.A. And so she's been working and she's been having to Zoom a lot. And she's like, some of these meetings are so boring and all that. And then one time she was just like this, like bored. And then mm-hmm. she didn't move, and they're like, Megan, are you still there? And then she realized, like, don't move. And then, like, oh, was spider in her hand up to exit, exit, exit the meeting. And then gets out of it. She just froze, like, playing freeze tag. And then exited it and then texted everybody, yo, man, my, comp- my internet's all bullshitted right now. Sorry. <laughs> that is. And now she does it all the time. She'll just be like. Well, have you, there are these guys that. That is the greatest. Make their background. Right? Like yes. them. They make their background them just kind of sitting there like this. And then then just go, you know, do the dishes or whatever, leave like an earbud in or whatever. Uh, that's great too. God, Zoom, it really, it's like, that's what I love about human nature is we'll find loopholes in any system. Uh, and the loopholes to just still stay in contact with each other. Do you think people have been Zoom fucking? 
I don't know because Zoom Zoom has this shady reputation of being maybe a little spy. So I would yeah. not. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I would Chinese. do it. I would use. I would use different things to be Zoomy, shady. You know, like, and how can you fuck over Zoom? I mean, well, just I mean, you're talking I, about being like, self. Yeah, like, like phone sex or like mutual beating off. Master, kind of yeah, stuff. yeah, like yeah. that. No, it, I mean, there's there's platforms for that. Have you guys, I that honestly, have you guys ever had any kind of enjoyment from that kind of thing? Because to me, that doesn't do a damn thing. For, that's almost like more of a... There's one way to find out right now on Zoom. Really, no, I've enjoyed it. Yes, really? I've enjoyed uh, it before. Yeah. I, I understand why you would say that. And I don't think like... I think, you know, it. yeah, it could certainly seem awkward for sure. But I definitely think there's... You don't get like yeah. self-conscious about it? I would get super... No. Yeah, okay. No, but that's kind of like thing that can be hot because about it. You mean just like I like kind of in your own head, like uh, you know, no. seeing yourself doing this thing and like what the fuck? No, because I mean, I'm you know, you you can fucking get you rid of your window. You're not there for yourself, you know. Like yeah, I think if I saw myself doing it, I'd be like, no, it would be like a black mirror, and I'd be like, I can't use phones. Yeah, right. Phones Have done are that, done. Jason? Have you done like uh like video sex or phone sex, Jason? I'm doing it as we speak. Yeah, that's okay. how good I am at it. Well, oh, yeah, zoos? totally. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. sure. I can't. I, I don't know. Well, Johnny, why don't you Zoom me after the Zoom, and then we can talk about my tweets, and then I can show you how to get naked and whack it. Yeah, we can solve your money problems, maybe. We'll yeah. It all comes together. <laughs> you got, yeah, that's It'll a be real, like Parasite. Yeah. That's a real combining <laughs> of all the worlds. Uh, Gareth, how's a dollop world? It's good. I mean, it's, you know, affected by COVID like everything else, but uh, no, we're still trudging along. Yeah, but you're not – because you, you guys do, like, great live ones and all that kind of stuff, so you haven't been able to do any of that. Yeah, it's – I mean, I haven't <laughs> – I was gone, at, like, every week forever, and then I haven't gone anywhere forever. <laughs> so you, it's totally Have you guys different. done any of those, uh, like, uh, shows at the store? Uh, we actually have one – we're doing a virtual one tomorrow night. Um, that's our first live anything since this all started. Um, uh, which if you're interested, you could go to dollapodcast.com and find tickets. But, uh, but it actually seems like it'll be good. It seems, it seems like the way, the one we're doing, I don't know. I'm like, okay, I can see this being actually enjoyable. Uh, but no, nothing compares to live shows. It's just so weird. It's yeah. so fucking different. I mean, you know, the, the idea, like the truth is that even if you perform now, you're doing it more for yourself than you used to for sure. Because the, you know, any comic would be like half filled room. Fuck this. It's like yeah. now we're like our, our bottom has dropped so far that it's just like, you'll do shows just to hear yourself do material, to work on your material. And if people are there, that's fucking great. But you can't, we, we can't do that with our, with our show for sure. Because, you know, like, I mean, I could probably do it stand up, but our show, the places we do, there's a lot of people. So, you know, are you, you uh, just can't. Uh, so are you, you said you guys are at the store or are you doing it somewhere else? The live show? No, we're doing it virtually. We're Yeah, we're not even going to I mean, like from your homes? Home. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we're doing it from our homes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, while Sam's on the CW. There are some shows it's harder to do. I, I imagine for your show it would be okay, right? But some shows it's a little challenging because of timing. You know, if you're really into, like, riffing yeah. and stuff, it's, it's a – Well, it's – our show when we record it through Zoom – it has, I mean, dude, you're at the whim of your fucking Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like there are yeah. times when you're just like, you're like Teep sister where you're actually frozen and you're like, heck, is that's happened to us a bunch of times. Thing? So, you know, you just have to kind of deal with those glitches. I, I mean, like when it comes to like working on shit, I'm like home makes so much more sense than before. But when it comes to actually doing podcasts, I'm, I would much rather be in the same room. Yeah. You know, just same vibe feeling the energy, me too you know but yeah. it you is know what i found that is that is that like fans and and podcast listeners we, and i include myself in that um because there's several podcasts that i love to listen to have become much more accepting of it it's just yeah. become the norm is the sound what being i mean you know yeah. less what can quality you do? and it freezing and it's just like you know, you know, Zoom is nothing. supposed to be it's supposed to be 1080p, like high high def too. But they had to because of COVID, they kind of limited the bandwidth to to mm -hmm. standard definition. That's why the video signal on the video on Zoom looks kind of shitty. Uh, it's meant to be 
in high def, like full high def, but they, they limit it. So I, I guess once this shit's over with, maybe the quality will be even better. But. Well, when this is over, Zoom's going to be like, hello? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Hello, yeah, friends? If we I were so stock, close. If I had stock in Zoom, I'd be coughing on every motherfucker in town. Oh, my God. Gareth, yeah, I was just wondering, because sure. you seem to be accusing me of stuff. Then Never did. How can you explain this then? But oh, again, whatever you're about to put up is not reality. It's a tweet. Okay, this it. time my name is not spelled with a U, but with an I. This one says, I'm Gareth Reno Reginald, which we already went over, and not T. Bryden, I guess, without the G, this. Well, there you and have I'm it. tweeting I kick, that I kick dogs and hate female comics. I mean, comics what is a, gay. I never what, wrote what's that. What's that about? You, well, I don't, why don't you tell us? Because you're writing all of these at your home. Gareth, dude, I, I mean, I get the female. How many times I got to tell you that? I don't, Johnny, I don't get the female comic thing. So what, what the fuck are you talking? Are I didn't write it. dogs, man? I never kicked the dog. Well, so dude, saying, wait, you can you show that, show that one more time, Jason? What? But it doesn't matter if he shows it. Show what, yeah. his tweet? Yeah, his tweet, yeah. Hang on, let me pull up Twitter. Because he said he didn't do it, but... No, no that's, he's it Charles Schwabing. Right there. He's Charles Schwabing the note card like it's Twitter. I'm Gareth <laughs> Reginald and not T. So but my not. name is Reynolds, and my name does not have an... I, I can't help that you can't spell your name. Why would you even involve yourself in that and say, I can't help? That just makes no sense for what you're saying happened. Yeah, yeah well, That's because you, he got I, I, I got to say, that is a pretty solid point. But I, what do I need? A lawyer here just to talk about your Twitter? Quit bringing up good points about this and changing the subject. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would, why would you write? I'm not T writing this. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense on yeah. Twitter. Exactly. Because yeah. it's not on Twitter. It's on a note card that you wrote on. Oh, it's God. A, here he, the Twitter expert again. Here we yeah. go. Oh, you no, know I don't even. It uh, says that you're oh, tweeting. Oh, Steve you. Jobs. Cool, man. What the fuck, Johnny? <laughs> Guys, go to, our, go to our Patreon. Patreon.com yeah. slash Punch Drunk. Is it Punch Drunk Sports, Johnny? Punch Drunk Sports, punch. yeah. Punch Drunk Sports, because what we know, for fact, we talk a lot of sports on this show. <laughs> we talk 30%. Yeah, that, I'll take that. Yeah, the last, that. Uh, the last Patreon, we went back and checked out. the. Uh, it's gotten so bad, uh, Gareth, that we're on our Patreon. We're actually going back and just watching old podcasts of ours. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Yeah, well, like, it, it's actually okay. Like, well, we're this doing, just like, a segment uh, we did. Fights and blow-ups and stuff, you know. and then, To watch uh, each uh, other freak out on each other? Yeah, yeah. Like Sam, classic like fights. Few, like classic I think that sounds. Like 10 years I ago. think that sounds delicious. That I would love that. The, uh, it's kind of. Like, and then I'm like, uh, oh, pause this. You can totally see that Sam is really yeah. pissed right yeah. now. That's the face he makes when he's. Uh, I yeah, love. I, mean, it's, I love. Forever, but, uh, it's so good when you guys. That's where we are right now. Other. That's where we are right I now. I like that. That's a good. That's like the. Uh, that's like when the sitcom doesn't have anything to write anymore. So they're just like, let's take a look back at yeah, our first four seasons. Remember they used to do like best ofs on Stern and shit like that. And you'd yeah. be like, oh fuck, man. Yeah. It's always the. Remember worst. when sitcoms would get like a new random? They would just always adopt a new kid all of a sudden. Like oh uh, yeah, that gave us kid. Leo. That was Johnny. And now we're oh, past yeah. that, so now we're just doing best of. It's like when <laughs> SL SNL does those compilation episodes. Those are the worst. Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Mike Seaver of Growing Pains. Let me tell you about my family. What the fuck? Who wrote this shit? Mike anyway, Seaver. here's a clip. Gareth, you got any dates uh, not out the gates you got coming up? Anything you want dates to Dates not out of the plug? gates. Tomorrow night, you can go uh, watch a live dollop podcast. Tickets are available at dollopodcast.com. October 24th, I will be doing uh, a stand-up virtual show. Uh, you can go to Rush Ticks. Dot com that's october 24th at 7 p.m and then every thursday night i do a uh improv stand-up show from my home called gariffs i've watched and a bunch of them i love them go to uh youtube gareth reynolds tv or no gareth reynolds tv and subscribe to that and then people just send you suggestions and then you don't even know what they are and then you just riff on yeah them. there's someone someone runs an email if you go to you email gariffs live at gmail.com and you just write whatever suggestion and then if it's you know someone calls the herd and then if it makes it then i've never seen it and then i'll just go oh airline peanuts boy <laughs> what about the you know it's like that it's mm -hmm. hacky, very hacky all the suggestions are nut based too i should be honest i only yeah you gotta make sure everybody gets all it all has to be nuts yeah otherwise i it won't make it is that the only pod you're doing right now the dollop i have another one that i do every now and then called point versus point which is a debate show uh fake debate show like a sketch show oh that like um that. 
but yeah, Dollop's the most consistent for sure. Love it. Uh, guys, I October 22nd, I love you. I really do love you. I love you. October, October 22nd, I'm going to be at Market Comedy Lounge in Valparaiso. I'm going to be working an hour out because November 27th, Black Friday, mind you, African American Friday, as we are supposed to call it now, from what I understand. Uh, I am going to be recording a new live album called Covidiot. Oh my um, lord! Thank you. <laughs> That's thank amazing. You. Thank you, sir. And uh, I got a whole new hour that I'm doing, and uh, very limited tickets because of obvious reasons. Uh, so all that you info can't is going to be pack a room. Up. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. no. a place holds 190, and they're only letting me in. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you got to tell me, who, who books that? I'd love to get on that show. It's me. Oh, guys, please. <laughs> yeah, I book it. So there's that. Uh, and also, please go look at, Gar at Gareth's uh, Twitter. Follow him on Twitter, and you can see all the tweets. That yeah, go to my through. Twitter, at Reynolds Gareth, and check out how I didn't say any of the things that T wrote on You'll note cards. You'll see tonight. every single thing that I read was straight off of his Twitter. He almost said wrote. He was so uh, close. Yep. I, 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 I yep. I sure did. I sure did. All right, buddy. I love you. I'm going to go. I, I love gotta, you. I got to go because I swear to God on my life, I have to get up in four hours to go golfing. I'm golfing oh. 36 holes tomorrow. 36. Oh my fucking God, dude. Go to bed. Well, thank you guys for having me. Thanks, Bye, dude. Johnny. Bye, T. I All love right. you, buddy. I love you. All right. Buddy. I've Johnny. already hit the initial leave, so there's going to be no awkward thing. I'm out. Love you guys. Thank you. Thanks for that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't All right, Jason. The other way. Bye, buddy. See you. See you.